What's up, guys? I am Thomas Dope as Yola, whatever you want to call me. This is the Dope as Usual podcast. I am with Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? What's up, guys? This is another episode. You guys, most of our guests are people you keep asking to come on the show. So once again, another guest that we're bringing because you guys ask so much. This is Hex, Hex Rodriguez. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thank you for, uh, it's hot as hell outside. Did not realize the temperature change between LA and the valley. Oh, yeah. There's they, they wind. Know about that. There's wind out there is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is, for everyone out there, we're in California. You're from Texas and you're telling me it's hot. So yeah. it must be pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. You know what I'm saying? 100%. It's, it's a different kind of hot, though. I, I, I just moved to Texas four years ago, originally from Chicago. Spent 24 winters there. Mm. Um, and oh, you're I, not from I, Texas. No, I promised that I was never going to complain about it being too hot because of how cold I've been for so long that, like, Today is one of the first times in, I don't know, a year that I've complained about the heat because I never complain about heat. So you're from Chicago, or born and raised? No. So I was born in El Paso, Texas. So right on the border. Oh, really? Yeah. My mom used to be a caretaker in 1980. That's when I was born. 42 years old. Um, you're 42? Yeah. Oh, shit. Lucky ass fool. Looks yeah. 28. I know. <laughs> I, it never gets old. Get it? Yeah. But, but uh, I was born in El Paso in the United States, uh, but I lived in Juarez, Mexico until I was 13 years old. Oh, so okay. went to school there until seventh grade, and then eighth grade is when I moved to uh, Wheeling, Illinois. What a move. Damn. They over. kidnapped me, bro. Uh, they, they, they asked me, no, hey, would you want to live in the United States? Yes, it would have been, yeah. Right? But they just grabbed me and my sister, my mom and my dad, and they said, we're moving to... To, uh, to Chicago. And I was like, cool. N not knowing anything about it besides what my cousins used to tell me back then. Uh, but it was cold as fuck. Year one. Oh, yeah. And from there, the 24 years that I was there was uh, just like, it didn't even matter. Cold didn't matter. It just became something that you had to live with. So it became something. But I got sick of it. And I told my wife one day, I'm like, we're moving out of this fucking place as soon as we get a chance to. And we got a chance to, so we did, Texas. So you moved back to Texas. Yeah. I never lived in Texas because I lived in, on, on the Mexico side, but, but yeah. Yeah, I have homies in El Paso. I'm supposed to go there soon, actually. I've never been. But he's like, yeah, look, Mexico, America. He's yeah. right on the border. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, when you go, Rafa's Burritos and uh, Tacotote is my spots. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's everyone's spots, but those yeah. are the ones that I frequent every single time. Well, I mean, that's always good, that's always good advice, man, because I'm going and I'm just like... What am I gonna do here? It's my my homie Liz. He owns some restaurants out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's one of my, my best friends. So I have to go. I yeah, have, yeah. I have family in El Paso. I've never met sure. a lot actually. It's where Grandpa's from. Um, so you're going from Mexico to Chicago? Yeah. But in the '80s or early '90s? Yeah, no, '93. Yeah. So Michael Jordan's still there. Oh yeah, yeah. And from the beginning, because we had family in Chicago, Michael Jordan was or the Bulls were our team. Uh, my dad loved the uh, Celtics back in the day. I mean, obviously, he, he came from a different era. But for me, it was always Michael from the beginning. And to this day, I have his back. He is the greatest time. <laughs> he is the greatest of all time, period. Undisputed. Uh -huh. You can argue. That's fine. Oh, there's always going to be an argument. Yeah. It's like, what if they all played against each other? Like, well, he's 20 years older. I'm going to tell you. Different. I'm going to tell you a one data point that no one has ever considered about Michael Jordan. What makes him even better? Okay. That dude competed. In these, True. at a professional level. True. Do you know how uncomfortable <laughs> every true. single fucking pair of Jordans is? Uh -huh. It is the most uncomfortable shoe ever, but still people wear it, right? To play ball in it, this dude was playing like if with, he's with so, a handicap. He's so good that he's like, yo, I'm going to make money wearing these uncomfortable ass shoes. I, yeah. I swore off Jordans last year because I see that crease day one. I'm like, mm -hmm. are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to throw up. Yeah. I can't do this no more, bro. Now we're easy to yeah, yeah. So comfy. And, and Van, I wear Vans my whole life, but Jordans, I'm like, you know what? Heartbreak too many times. Yeah. It's, there's only so much you could do. I know. Uh -huh. yeah. I know you know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I wear them. I don't care. I'm like, crease, no yeah, crease. Don't I, give a fuck. I, I feel you. But I just remember looking at, because you know, when you grow up, I, did you grow up with, uh, I mean, you grew up in Mexico. You guys probably didn't grow up with a bunch of money nah. if you're moving just like that. I shit on a bucket at one point, you know, growing up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it was, it was uh, no, humble beginnings for me. 
Super, super humble beginnings. Yeah, it just hurts my heart no matter how much money I make. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to crease brand new J's. Yeah. It's, it's like, here's some weed. Throw it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Mm. But also, Nike, figure that shit the fuck out. It's like Bro, we're 40 that years shit into this out. shit. Put some extent. Put some fucking mesh. Something. These put some fucking, fucking $200. mesh on my yeah. shit. Yeah, dude. Um, so, question. You're growing up in Mexico until you're 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So, do you... Are you guys... Are you fluent with English or do you have to earn, uh, learn when you get here? So when I got here, I, I understood a little bit of English because of cartoons, right? So everything that was being broadcasted Everybody, in El Paso. That's how people learn, man. Was, crazy. was being broadcasted in, in, in Mexico. And that's how I got a little bit of, uh, of, of the understanding. But it took me about six months to, to learn English, six, an additional six months to lose my accent. Or as much of it as, as I could. Now, the reason was because, was because I was in ESL. English, yeah, I'm yeah, sure you yeah, guys know here in California. Um, you'd be surprised how many people don't know about ESL. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I just didn't want to be ever be put in a position to where I was going to be embarrassed. You know, like it, uh, the fear, the anxiety of being embarrassed. Because I can't defend myself, right? Because if somebody's coming at me trying to make fun of me, in, uh, in 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 English, how the fuck am I gonna be funny <laughs> and roast this ass? And you know, if I can't get back 100%. at his ass, I I get you. But this is opposite for me. Yeah, I everybody in my family is from Mexico. Spoke mm -hmm. speak Spanish fluently, mm -hmm. except for me, because mm. my mom doesn't speak Spanish. I grew up with her. Okay, so and she's I, first generation. So you're second. No, uh, my mom was my mom was a Jewish lady. Okay, she was born. Here, oh, got it. Got my it. dad, my dad, so, every cousin I ever had. Every, I'm at the table going, the fuck are you guys talking about? Yeah, you guys go to school with me. Just tell me in English, yeah, man. Yeah. And nobody ever taught me, but they just made fun of me my whole yeah, life. Yeah. So it was the opposite for me. I'm like, you guys making fun of me? Yeah. I can't roast you, <laughs> motherfucker. Like you said, but the opposite. Yeah. So I if I was you, if I was you, I would have, I would have, I would have been more conniving. I would have been like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. But then when you get in public, you know, in an American setting, <laughs> then you you start, you oh, know, they speak English too. Oh, they did too. They just, so they, they were just, show, they, just, oh, they, just they, damn. Were they never taught me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was that kid, but at school, like I like I got I moved to I moved to Oregon and bro. Everyone's like, you speak English? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, man? Yeah. I just said dude to you. Yeah, I don't speak Spanish. It's fucking speak wild. Spanish, yeah, yeah. So you don't speak any Spanish? Still. No, Still to man. this day. Yeah. I mean, I talk to my grandma and grandpa. I'm like, you guys can teach me anytime. Yeah. But I talked to Marty. I need to fucking learn, bro. Marty, you speak Spanish? Fuck no. No, <laughs> Marty's from New York. Bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's from you, Buffalo. You'd never get, yeah. No, but Trent, my whitest friend with the longest blonde hair uh -huh. ever, speaks fluent Spanish. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just need someone to teach me, man. I think. Uh, where, do, where does he work? He lives in Hawaii. Uh, <laughs> wow. He's from Fresno, though. Got he's it, from, got it, got it. Got it. From, um, uh, California. Yeah, my daughter, who's 12 years old, she um, she's very fluent in both. Gosh. Right, We made it a point from the beginning. Her grandma took care of her growing up, too, when we were built, when I was building Optic and my wife was supporting us by going to work. Um, like, yeah, she she grew up there, so she only spoke Spanish to her. Is your wife uh, Spanish, too? Yeah, she's Mexican. Yeah, oh, she's Mexican. Okay, so uh, she but she's for, uh, second generation. Well, not no, she's first generation, but she was born in Chicago. Where I was born in El Paso, but lived in Mexico. She never lived in Mexico. Maybe Got for like you. one There's year. There's a lot of so. Mexican people in Chicago, right? Or oh, yeah. Yeah, I, massive I community. I just had to ask. I had no idea. Uh, Fernando Yabar, shout out to you from Mexico. one of our fans. He's like, dude, there's a huge Mexican community. Yeah, massive, here. bro. There's more Mexicans know. than anything else. How? I don't know. How the fuck is nobody talking about this? Yeah. So, Buffalo, like, like right. ready? Like, <laughs> New York. Who do you see in New York? Puerto Ricans. Yeah, Puerto Ricans or Dominicans. 100% always Puerto Ricans is the right answer, mm -hmm. right? In, in Chicago is Mexicans. There are Puerto Ricans, there are Dominicans, and there are other, but Mexicans, I had no Mexican, clue, Polish uh, are like the, the, the majority. Mm -hmm. What the fuck in Chicago? Yeah. Mass. I mean, obviously, there's, there's like Korean, Chinese. I get that, that yeah, but, but if that's the main, yeah, the main yeah, yeah. ethnicity, that's fucking crazy. My school was fucking dope. Wheeling, Illinois, Wheeling High School. Shout out to, to them. Uh, the, the first day, story time. Go right. for it. But I wasn't smoking back then. I was a fucking straight edge. Were like, you growing up? Yeah. Like what age were you still straight edge? Uh, Seventeen was the first uh, first time oh, I, I good smoked. For you. Thank do you. You want to smoke it, one of those? Or you got one? Yeah, yeah I got one. I'll Whenever you run these. out, I got these. Thank you. Thank. You. I, I also brought you some presents, and we'll get to them after the storyline or right. the story time. Go for it. So first, this is like the to give people an idea of what it was like in like early nineties. I'm talking about 1994. I'm 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 a freshman, first day of school. There's a school assembly, right, and all of a sudden, a fucking fight breaks out, right? At the assembly? At the assembly. Day one, the 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 teacher and the and the, and the what are they called? Uh, Administrators, principals. Yeah, all of them. They yeah. were they were they were in the middle of the of the basketball court giving a speech. Some black dude, or this Mexican dude that we used to know, rest in peace. He he passed away. But this dude throws a, a paper at the group of black dudes that were to the right of us. So they turn around. They start talking shit. 
So these Mexicans that I'm fucking, and I'm sitting there with uh, by myself and a couple of friends, and I'm like, day one, day one, and I'm from, I'm like fresh off of, uh, one year in the United States. So all of this, like racism, I didn't know it existed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that people weren't gonna like me because of the skin I'm in. I didn't know that, right? I was, I, was, I mean, you're born in Mexico, everybody's the same. Yeah. Why would you be racist? Yeah, exactly, right? Or just period, right? Anyway, so I get there, and then they're like, apparently at the time, the blacks and the Mexicans weren't getting along, apparently, right? So sure enough. It was like a like a like a fucking uh, uh, mudslide. Boom! Everybody hits the hit, and not because of the color, because of the movement, right? But oh, bro, I didn't it, take it the other way, bro. <laughs> bro, I know. Mean, so I everybody you. goes in and they start fighting, bro. And I'm like, holy fuck! And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, am I gonna get fucking punched by a fucking sophomore junior dude, like a big black dude, just because? Uh. So I'm like, I'm sitting back and I'm just like. Like literally with my hands up like this, right? I'm what, 14 at the time, right? I have been in fights, but in Mexico, not no fights over here. And my dad was very strict, right? He said, no fighting, no getting in trouble. Like no, no time for that. So this fight fucking breaks up and it was the wildest shit I've ever seen. I've never seen violence like that until there, right? Like I've experienced violence because I grew up in Mexico, obviously, uh, you know, the cartels, which I don't, I don't talk about, but all that stuff. Like it was that, but this was like right in front of my face. Saw this uh, this black dude get kicked in the back with with some pointy ass Mexican boots from a big Mexican. Oh, dude. the worst! Yeah, big Mexican dude kicked him in the back, right in the spine, and I'm like, oh, like I lost my breath. I'm like, oh, like it, like I felt that dude's pain. Some teachers tried to get involved, and they were getting flung. Like old ladies were just getting flung out to size. Damn. Boom, 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 bro. It was it, it broke out into the foyer, into the trophy room. It was fucked up. But that was my my my, my experience. First experience, yeah. The, the the most memorable one for sure. So my mom got my mom almost broke her neck like that. A kid came up, and booted her in the fucking neck. She was breaking up a fight in the school, and it like for the rest of her life. Damn that that moment. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kids yeah. are wild as. And then now that I think back, now that you're older, now I'm older. I think back, and oh, you have a lighter right there too, if you need it right here. Um, kids are violent as fuck. Yeah. Now that I remember, I, I wasn't because I'm the same person as a kid, but yeah. You know, you, I guarantee you have homies like, yo, remember how wild your ass used to be? You used to be a fucking monster. Now they're like, oh, I'm a dad and I work at fucking Costco. Oh, them. Yeah. I was you, never a monster. No, I know. I got into you fights. see those people, though. Yeah. It's a trick because I see my friends that used to be fucking hoodlums and now there's just fathers. And it's the weirdest shit as I get older to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so the reason I brought that fight up is because I didn't. By that time, I hadn't fully understood and, and was able to communicate in English. So for me to tell somebody, I'm not involved in this thing. I'm, I'm fucking innocent. Don't fucking punch me. I was like, I got to learn English. Oh, that was a turning point for you. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I was like already in the process. I, I'm like, how am I going to talk to girls? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so that's where art became a big part of my life there too, right? Like I started drawing people's names, girls' names to break the ice and shit. Hey. So that's how, yeah. I, courted, that's how I courted my wife. You know what I mean? fucking romantic Let's ass go. kid don't speak English. Here. I spoke, Poland girls. Uh -huh. I'm like, I didn't speak English, but I did speak the language of love. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I bet you it worked pretty well. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the, the, the easiest uh, icebreaker ever. I was like, hey, I made something for you. It came from my brain to my hand to this piece of paper. Shh, take fucking notes, guys. Texting in your dick pics don't work, right? Yeah. <laughs> Draw her name. Yeah. At least hide it a little bit. Uh, or do it if you're dressing it up. You know what I mean? If you're, put a bow. Put a tie. If I was... If I was you know, in my youth and, you know, dick pic sharing was a thing. Like, I think I would dress it up. You know what I mean? I would make it more of a, of a funny a thing. A little I wouldn't, sombrero? Yeah, something. Like a little sombrero. <laughs> Google eyes. No, uh, yeah, little, little Google eyes, right? But I, I would also put, give it a holster. You know what I mean? With a little pistol and shit. <laughs> something. I wouldn't just send it all on. Like, is it, is it well kept is the first thing that I would do, right? Is it well kept? Uh, is it, you know, what, what, are, what are some areas that needs work? Right, it's like, what's that little pimple doing there? Uh -huh. Oh my God. What's she gonna think that is? <laughs> what's she gonna think that is? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We went there, right? We yeah, did. it's okay. I take left turns all the time. It's fine, dude. You take four of them and you're uh -huh. back to where you started. Yeah. Um, NASCAR shit. First off, oh wait, fuck NASCAR, first off. Why? Because it's just taking left, it's so boring to me. Yeah. Super what about F1? Cool. That shit's scary as fuck. It's <laughs> cool. But it's is it because cool. you watch the documentary or is it because you just like F1? I've never seen a documentary. I've only watched F1 like on fights. Netflix and shit. Uh -uh. Oh, you don't watch, you don't watch, you're not a TV consumer. Or no, show consumer? I don't really watch. Uh, I watch Seinfeld. Quite the opposite. All the fucking. Oh, no, I'm a. He's the fucking cable guy. Yes, oh. cable guy. But 
not to shit that doesn't like sports and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cool. But not NASCAR. I can't watch racing. But that F1 watch shit either. is amazing. It's supposed to go 200 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lifting off the ground sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll watch about five minutes of it, and then I'm like, I'll watch the rest on the highlights. But at that mm-hmm. point, is a concentration more than more than athleticism? I think to hold that steering wheel like that, you got to be a pretty Popeye forearm motherfucker, man. Yeah. Because I've held my car, my car, I'm like, what if you're going 200? That's your right out there? Yeah. But Fire. You, thank you. But you know what I mean? Like, you have to have fucking... Jacked ass forearms mm-hmm. to hold. Yeah. You see those insides? Those fools are smashing around. Yeah. The shit that gets me. Have you ever seen uh, the fools that can't see when the, the rally cars? They can't see. They have a navigator telling them which to turn. No. <laughs> the guy can't see the road up come because you're going one. Someone's playing video games with a with a real life person. Hundred percent. The guy sitting next to him. I left. Uh, Forty five degrees. And the guy was. No. Just sl- I watched the rally. Get shit, the dude. fuck I'll out watch of that. Is that, is that, that, is that a real thing? It's a real thing because the guy's driving, and he he knows the course. But you're going 150 on a fucking dirt road in France. So they're flying yeah. through towns. I never fucking knew that. You ever see the little like uh, the little Subarus that are fucking flying? Yeah. That's that. There's two dudes because one tells them, all right, left in six seconds, go. It's no. fucking insane, bro. I got I to gotta, I gotta do that. I got to fact check you on that because oh, that sounds just fucking watch ludicrous. I, like I said, I watch YouTube compilations, Seinfeld and The Office. <laughs> That's pretty much <laughs> all my what expertise. I see. Yeah. Listen, in my 10 years of YouTube, I've, I've done some blind, you know, competitions in which you're the one navigating and the other one's the one, like, you know, doing it. So driving is just like, seems like an impossible thing. They're going hundreds, 120. Yeah. In a cage, right? Obviously. So like there's a level of safety there, but gas is liquid. Yeah, not really. Gas is liquid. Smoke. Uh, you know, like yeah. people don't like all of this shit that, that goes into my head when I'm like, if there's a crash, what if like for some reason the car ends up being on top, but it's the tail end of it. So all of the smog from yeah, of course. is die. going into it. Yeah. And I'm like, Ugh. not the kind of smoke I want to die. No, smoke. exactly. I would t- That would be the, the worst, bro. You watch, you watch Final Destination a lot? Yeah. I Not a lot, but I watched all of them. I watched it a lot. And uh, that shit gives, it's, makes me cautious. Like, I don't, do you, do you fuck with Teslas? No, I mean, do you, would you I get fuck one? with them. Would you get one? I don't have one, no. I think they're scary. Yeah. Because, I mean, what if the doors don't open? Or just like, yo, I'm going to keep going 120. Fuck your brakes. Yeah. Shit malfunctions. My computer crashes sometimes. Ooh. No, I don't, th- I don't think that that one would, though. I think that I, w- I, I do have faith in it. I've, I've, I've experienced... Tesla, auto, uh, the self-driving, like, before Tesla became even fucking popular. There was this dude named, uh, fuck, James, oh, God, he's gonna be, he doesn't, he won't watch this. James, <laughs> if you're out there, uh, he had a Tesla, and we were here in L.A., and this was, was like, a, a, a film producer, and he had a Tesla, and I got in, and he's like, watch this shit, puts it on auto, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. The, the car does the, the, the turn onto the, the off-ramp and then onto the next one on its own. And it was early days, and I'm like, fuck. I remember making a story of it back. This had to have been 2013, 2014, like early, early, early on before all the, all the other bullshit. But, yeah, I, I, I would trust it. I don't have one, but I would trust it. I don't know, man. You it's seem like a, like a pickup truck type of dude. I have a pickup truck. It's a, a Ford F-150, <laughs> uh-huh. but I only bought it because I bought a, a fishing boat. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Are, you, are you like an outdoorsman? I used to be. Now, since video games, I became a little bit more of an endorsement. Yeah. So more. you didn't grow up a gamer? No, I was fucked up. No, hell no. That's the 90s, baby. That's literally the next question. You didn't grow up a fucking gamer? No, nah, dude. This? Wow. No, 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 no. I was not, bro. Fucking basketball, football, soccer. Nice. Sports is what I grew up for sure. Right? Girls, sports, fun, nice graffiti, party. No, no drugs, no, no liquor though. So boring. Good shit though. No, no, no. You got the good parts because those always make you fuck the night up. Yep. Drinking and drugs always fucks the night up in the end. Yeah, yeah. But I do have a pickup truck. But I, uh, yeah, I like I like uh, four by fours. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh you're, you're Texas. I've never been on a four wheeler. I've never done any. Oh, of I've this. done all that shit. Yeah, I've never once done yeah. it ever. And well, it looks fun as hell. If though. you if you ever come out, listen. If you ever come out to Texas, I'll take you to uh, one of my business partners has uh, a massive ranch in OKC. Wheat's legal. We can go fishing. Mm-hmm. We can go off roading. You can see his giraffes, his zebras, and shit. Yeah. This dude, bro, this dude owns land as far as the eye can see. Mate, Texas <laughs> sounds awesome. It's just the weed laws are scary, man. Dude. dude. Sucks. Fucking scary, dude. Like, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Automatic. Take it to McDonald's. Fuck that joint. That's that's yeah. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. And and it'd be cool if they, they gave you a ticket. 
You know what I mean? No, but you go to the, jail. Yeah, the fact that they take you to jail is like fucking. Well, he's, was fucked up. He's going through mm-hmm. trial right now over uh, some weed. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Mm-hmm. I got caught with the same amount. They went, "Oh, you got your card? Yeah. Where? Where? Yeah. Where? El Paso. He, oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, I that stayed in sucks, Austin man. a couple months, and it just turned me off to the whole fucking place. Like, yeah. you bastards are gonna have Willie Nelson out here represent your city, and then put people in fucking jail for this shit. Yeah. No, shit the fucked this? up thing is, is that the majority of the population in Texas is cool with it. They're yeah. ready. Really? Of course. They're ready. But it is the the government that that's like still they they still haven't decided who's going to be the one that makes money and how do they make the exactly. money? Exactly. And until they figure that piece out, this won't be I legalized can it out in eight minutes. Give me a yeah. piece it's of so paper. It's simple. It's fucking simple. It's Taxes. Not, it's, no. That's no, like, no, 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 no. You, you didn't get what I was saying. It's not how the government makes money that would get taxes to help the people in its population. Yeah. No, it's the politicians yeah. who haven't figured out how they're going to make money. Uh-huh. Gotcha. If they pass this fucking law. They just buy the companies. If, 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 you're, if, you're, a, if you're a security guard outside a club, you're, I'm not going to just let you in. you got to pay papa first. So you think... You think you think that hundred mm-hmm. bucks goes to the club? No, that goes to the fucking security guard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, All right, that's how, that's that's how it works. That's a really good analogy. Everything's yeah. simple. It always goes back to fucking money and just bullshit, basically. Yeah, shit like this. I think it's kind of wild though, because you know some of these politicians got a couple hundred mil stash. I don't know if I could be greedy still at that point. It'd be kind of odd. Well, it depends. Are you looking at it as a game, or are you looking at it as a as a means to live the life that you want to live? Is it a competition? Like I think the money. competition is what fucks yeah. people up. Yeah. Like, yo, my homie got a boat. Yeah. Well, fuck, man. You know, he's got a yacht. My wife thinks he's cool. Or I, I don't know. That's what I think rich guys think. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know. You know, like pieces of shit in movies? That, yeah. Like those guys. Yeah. How do they think? I don't think like a rich dude. Like American Psycho? No. Like American Psycho dudes. <laughs> exactly. Just giving a fuck about their next fucking business card and like, now nah, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you did not grow up a gamer. How did you get into this? Because it's not like you just, you played some games and now you're like, yo, uh, I do Twitch. I feel like gamer is <laughs> the right word for him. I don't yeah, know so, no, about I say, so, Go, go, go. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, so I, I'm in the video game industry uh, we didn't do an introduction to me. So for those of you who don't know me, I own a team called Optic Gaming. It's uh, it was like the the first of its kind. From it, many th- many different clans have derived from it. Face Clan, Hundred Thieves, all these other things. But uh, so Hundred Thieves specifically, their CEO is one of my closest friends ever. He used to be on my team, played for my team. He and I, you know, built something great together, right? Called Optic. And everybody else that's obvi- that's obviously there, but you know what I mean. Like he, he was uh, one of the main popular ones. Uh, gaming. As fun as it is, if you guys play Call of Duty, there are competitions, right? And they are competitions for a lot of money. Now, back in the day, it was like, you know, 2011 was the first time that there was ever a million dollar tournament for Call of Duty. How many people are on a team? Four. 250 for each fucking player? Yeah, and the, and the org didn't take a cut of that because I was nice. I was building something bigger. But So you had your own team. You're letting them keep the money. They're yeah. just repping you guys. Yeah, I mean, we, we were all... See, that's the thing. Nowadays, this repping is not the same thing as repping back in the day, right? Back in the day, when you were part of the team, like in the 90s, if you were part of a gang, you, you, you're, you're repping that because it's something bigger. It's not just something that... You know, it's not like a sponsor, right? Like, it, like nowadays, there's a lot of uh, influencers and a lot of... Uh, uh, People that just are brand, sponsored brand by their deals. teams. No, not necessarily brand deals, but they're just sponsored by their team. They don't belong to an actual team, right? My people belong to this team. Like the, there's a sense of culture in the ones that are successful have the, those, those same cultures, right? Uh, the face clans, like you can tell there's a family there of friends that fucking, you know, was there to uh, create something bigger. Under Thieves and all these other ones. Uh, there's a lot of good ones. The bigger ones have that sense of, of uh of a family before business because it did turn into a business at one point so i was chilling with goblin and eric oh that shit sounded <laughs> crazy yeah. this new mic god damn my man um i was chilling with them about a month ago and they told me what clans were mm-hmm. Bro, I, I don't really play games yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't know that there's teams like i didn't know what the fuck phase was. i didn't mm-hmm. know what any of this mm-hmm. meant. that's crazy and you, you you've been on youtube for how long Eight years. Yeah. See, the thing is, uh, you had to come across some I, piece I've of content. I've seen the word phase before. Yeah. 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 I've so, seen that, but I thought it was like a fucking like a like a group of homies, like a it is the hype house thing. So you know where people yeah, yeah, like yeah. we all make content. I didn't know they were fucking gaming and yeah. they were good as fuck at it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, I think it was more like the 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 face clan boys. The the way that we were 
were just about content and pl- and being good enough to be entertaining, right? The rest of it was going to be carried by your personality. Um, some professional gamers are not necessarily that, uh, but gaming has influenced YouTube like you've never seen before. And your channel, for example, unfortunately doesn't have the ability to be monetized because of this. And it's not YouTube; it's more of the advertisers doing that. But uh, you, in the past, like uh, when I started doing YouTube, you could not monetize your own channel the way that I can today. Yeah, it was because of of, of certain gaming um, legal because you're showing their game. No, not necessarily that. No, I'm I'm talking about just just uh, the ability for one human self to be able to monetize their YouTube channel. That system never existed until gaming came along and was able to sort of say some something set the precedence essentially the the precedence essentially to be able to monetize your own channel because at one point you had to submit your work to a network for them to monetize it on their channel they would take their cut and then they would give you your money so everything that you said today was like everything that you see on youtube today is influenced by gaming twitch, gaming changed is that because twitch was doing it or is that i think before twitch, twitch came after yeah before. oh okay. yeah twitch came after it came after they started doing the whole yeah, you, just after shit? youtube and just just in general it was a, like twitch is younger mm-hmm. and uh, although twitch so uh, although Twitch can never be YouTube because of the VOD programming and all that stuff, uh, YouTube can do live. They're doing live now, right? Like I do YouTube live. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I did, I just thought it was always there. No, dude. No, no, no. At one point you couldn't make money for YouTube, you know, like in, let alone you make money on your YouTube channel on, you know, for your own that sake. That is fucking crazy. Yeah. That's like saying, Hey, I'm an Uber driver, but I just submit my shit at the end of the day and I, I yeah. hope I get paid. I mean, I, th- I think that's what they do, right? I have no idea. Is yeah. that really how it works? <laughs> yeah, oh, then they got paid right away. Yeah, because they don't. They they go. Uh, I pay Uber, and then Uber pays them, that. right? Oh well, yeah, like that. I thought they were just getting it right away. Yeah, yeah. But so you could not. Mo- so gaming is essentially responsible for all the Logan Pauls of the world. Not how, necessarily you know like the way they get paid and are yeah. able to. Do oh yeah, they it had a, they had a major play in it for sure. That's Multi-channel funny. networks didn't exist until, or existed, but not in terms of. I'm going to monetize your channel also, right? So back in the day, to give you an example, back in the day, there will be a group of people that have a business called Machinima. And that's just an example. Have you heard of Machinima? Okay, so Machinima was the end-all, be-all, greatest YouTube brand for gaming ever. The first of its kind, uh, MTV-esque fucking, a sick thing. So they could only, they, they went to YouTube and they say, hey, we have our own sales team. We would like to sell ads against this thing. So YouTube is like, okay, cool. Since this is in our platform, we're going to take the 40% and then you guys do whatever the fuck you guys want with the, with the rest of the money. Um, so they were like, okay, cool. So this these are our channels. This is these three, right? Machinima, Machinima Sports, and Machinima whatever the fuck else, right? It wasn't until gaming personality started to say, hey, I want to upload more videos to your channel so I can monetize that the conversation started to happen to be like, all right, now they are going to be like, hey, I also have this channel. And they're like, all right, cool, we'll monetize that, we'll plug it into the system, blah, 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 cool. Well, imagine that times 10,000, right? So the, this system sort of had to be developed in order for that to happen, and up until one point, it wasn't. YouTube was the only people making money. It wasn't until somebody came in and started to say, hey, we have our own sales team. I didn't know that. So gaming pretty much allowed people... It allowed YouTube to give the push to say it played a big I part. Pay everybody. It played a big, a big part because of the, the the size of the community that was there originally, right? Uh, if you think about back in the day, it was all about comedic skits, right? The um, what were they called? I don't even remember. But lo- long story short, because of the size of the community of creators in the gaming space, that they had to figure out a way to monetize all of that opportunity, right? Because if they are uploading five videos a day on one specific channel times three. Imagine how much money they were making back then, right? Where the CPMs had to have been whatever the fuck they wanted them to be, as long as they paid YouTube their thing. So they're in, in their heads, like, well, if we can upload not just, I don't know, uh, 15 videos a day and make $150,000 a month, what happens if we multiply that times 10,000 channels? You know what I mean? So you sort of start to develop this business and this business model, and then YouTube's like, well, why the fuck am I allowing these networks to be the only ones that can do that? Why don't we just plug them into our own AdSense? Which is what you see today. That was great, bro. I didn't even know that. I'm, I may have made all that shit up right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you fucking convincing, man. Hey, so, what, wait, what are you smoking on? 
This is a uh, OG. I just smoke OG all the time. Well, let me can, if there's one, bro. Yeah. OG Kush, yeah. Sure. Um. So, like I said earlier, I, I, I will plans. say, Josefo is like, you know how you get when you smoke the OGs. What? No, what happens? Just, you get tired? I get fucking, I get naked and shit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> That's what to LA to, to strip? Because you know LA is OG, bro. I mean, right now it's a lot of commercial mm-hmm. commercial weed, like a lot of flavors. But, mm-hmm. I mean, this is where it's from. I mean, this mm-hmm. is, not where it's from, but this is where it's popularized. Mm-hmm. You know, because I'm, I'm up from up north. and I immediately got high. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm high as fuck. Yeah. I wish, man. I, I fucking, I smoke it all day, every day, but... There'll be sometimes I smoke a sativa with somebody. I go, oh my God, what is this feeling? Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm good. You like liked it? it for a minute. And I go, I'd just rather get fucked up immediately. Yeah. I don't know. There's something about an OG smoke. <gasps> right when you like catch it and you yeah. blow it out. It's like, damn, that's a film it's on my whoosh. teeth. Yeah. Of yeah. gas. And I just love that huh. shit. Oh, gets me hyped. Yeah. Uh, my, every time. My, my favorite right now is Chem Driver. That's like the. Oh, Sunday Driver and Chem yeah, Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chem Dog's good, man. Yeah. I, I've, I've only gotten like five real packs of Chem in my life. And it grows so weird. It's finicky, but it grows so uh, fucking. Oh, it's got nubs on it. Yeah. It's got like like tumors, it looks like. It's fucking weird, yeah, but it's so tumors. Fire. Like, who doesn't want to smoke tumors? You know what I mean? It's, it looks like it's got lumps all over Just it. Just fucking little hands. That's what out. it is. It looks like a little tree, but with fucking hands all over it. Yeah. Um, so, oh, sorry, before I keep getting in too far into <laughs> weed, because I know we'll keep going. Yeah. Real quick. You, for me, I told you earlier, I didn't know about fi- clans. I yeah. didn't know there was teams. I, I saw, I knew people played Madden for money, because mm-hmm. my homie does that shit. My homie plays, uh, like, the world champion uh, Street Fighter competition on fucking... The joysticks and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that. That's fucking tight. You guys made a team, or you made a team, and then just said, the, Call of Duty, there's a competition, we're going to go play. Oh, That's worse. How it worked. What? It was worse the way that I did it. Now, I, I didn't just create a team, and I created a team of only snipers. Only the only that weapon snipe you can use was sniping. There's the M48 3 that you see right there. Are you fucking <laughs> serious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. This That's deep crazy. into Call of Duty. Though. Yeah, it's changed my life. So it was just Call of Duty you guys play? You don't play any other games? At first, yeah. At first it was Call of Duty. So let me let me tell you the the, the, the optic strategy, the optic book, and why it, 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 it all leads down to all roads lead to optic. Good, God damn it. Um I th- you know what I was doing right there? I wasn't cleaning. I was just like it was just my idiosyncrasies being idiosyncrasies. I do it a lot too, but I was like, Oh, I don't want him to have to think he has to clean it. Thomas, you know, you know, what, I've been, you know what I've been you know what I've been stopping myself from doing? And I what? just I just did it right now. I, I cover, I cover it. I, my hand always goes up here every time. Yeah, it's just like, uh, but there's no fucking wind in here. I do it no matter just what. In case. Every time, I never, you'll never see me do it like this unless I'm just high and rambling. <laughs> yeah, every time. Yeah, just I like don't know myself. why. It's because someone's. someone's got <laughs> I think you like this. I think I like looking. You at know my what hands start to glow. You know what it is. It's a long, long, long. Just <laughs> process of brainwashing that you get as a little kid. When you're about to blow out your candles, you have your little cousins, and you know those, they're trying to blow out your candles. So what you do nowadays is block you like, your shit. You li- yeah, you block your shit. You're not gonna right. stop me from lighting my candle and making my fucking wish. PTSD. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, so, but anyway, have you ever plans. done this? And blew out a candle? I never have. No. The fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Taking a minute to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is Miller Lite. Before we get into any of this, guys, do me a favor. Go to MillerLite.com forward slash YOLA, and that's going to take you to a landing page of every single place in your area that will deliver Miller Lite to your house. Or, like we always say, you can go to any store on earth that sells Miller Lite and just grab it right there. And we say it every single time. Do not drink and drive. Please be responsible. you got to be 21 or older. Don't be dumb. So, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Milwaukee Brewing Company, guys, please celebrate responsibly. And once again, I say it every time, it's 96 calories, 3.2 grams of carbs for every single can. Guys, for this ad read, Marty and I did something a little special, something a little different. I know it's just an, this is an ad read in the middle of the show, but we wanted to just say thank you to Miller Lite, say thank you to you. Everybody out there that's supporting us, was that's why we're able to do this. So, Thank you guys for making it possible, and thank you to Miller Lite for making everything else possible. So you saw a sneak peek of this on our Instagram, but this is the full thing, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Let it play. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dope Yola, and this is the Dope As Usual podcast, and we just want to take a minute to talk about Miller Lite. 
As you guys are already aware, Marty and I, the Dope as Usual podcast, we are the 2022 brand ambassadors to Miller Lite. For all the legal drinking age fans out there, and I know there's a lot, if you're gonna drink beer, drink Miller Lite knowing that it's supporting your favorite show. As I said before, what does Miller Lite remind me of? It reminds me of some of the best times of my life, and you guys know that. Me and my Uncle John, this was our beer. This is bringing back, every time I drink it, it floods back memories in the backyard, bonfire, playing basketball. Miller Lite to me brings back good times. It brings back nostalgia of just fun. Not to mention, I'm not a huge beer drinker and I like Miller Lite. One of the very few beers I can actually drink without going, ugh. No matter which episode it is, no matter what guess, what topic. The thing Marty and I stress, before we even got the Miller Lite deal, we stress all the time, don't drink and drive. Don't be stupid, don't hurt yourself or somebody else. Thank you guys so much for supporting our show. Marty and I still, it's unreal to us every time, guys. From backyards to billboards, here we are. Miller Lite, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Milwaukee Brewing Company. It's Miller time. So Clans. Clans. Yeah, so uh, in Call of Duty, there were already teams that were competing against each other, right? For money? It, no, yeah, for, sometimes for money. It was just word of mouth at the time. So what we did is like uh, my brother and I, uh, my brother's 10 years younger than me. Um, at the time, he was like 16. I was like, fuck it. Wait, 26, 27? Yeah, he was like 17, right? Yeah, whatever. Um, we just like sniping. For me, sniping was always like the baddest soldier ever, the one in the cover shooting from far mm -hmm. as fuck away. And, uh, and everything in my life forever and always has been about, you know, being accurate, right? Like uh, when I was playing football, like I wanted to be the best quarterback there fucking was. So I practiced every single day, pitching. I practiced fucking all of that. Throwing was my shit. Being accurate was my shit. You're so a every, photographer too, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, of, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, getting the shot. Boom. So as I'm as I'm going through through life and, and liking these like war movies and liking the sniper, right? Like growing up the shit, I finally found a game that had a good sniping thing on it. It was Call of Duty 2. Right? So we started playing that uh, and then you know, we found out about what competition was, so we started competing and it was just four before word of mouth shit. Uh, being popular on a website, forty teams maybe or whatever. Um, but that developed into something bigger very quickly, right? When 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 uh, when we switched over to Call of Duty Four, when Call of Duty Four came out, we had the idea of let's just snipe. We're just gonna be snipers. We're not gonna use any other fucking weapon in the world. We're just gonna fucking use snipers, and that's it. That's the rule. Why? Because it's the baddest fucking scope. I'm gonna shoot one weapon. I'm gonna kill you before you kill me with your fifteen to thirty bullets. So I was gonna do. I was gonna shoot one bullet every three seconds, and they were gonna try to kill me with a fucking instant barrage of bullets. Anyway, in, in the game, you can develop that the quick scoping ability to, have you ever played video games? I fuck with Call of Duty. Okay, so well, you know what quick, quick scoping is? Yeah, when you just shoot a motherfucker, when it goes, it yeah. pops up in a yeah. second. So, so Optic was the first of its kind sniper team ever. Really? Because of Optic. So the clips I've seen are you guys. I mean, yeah, I Most mean, like by, na by, now, fuck, by now there's millions of snipers. Because I've seen it uh, on YouTube years ago. Yeah. Though. I've seen I've seen a compilation. Yeah, so too. so my team was the first sniper team ever. Like the 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 concept of sniping teams didn't exist. So from Optic came FaZe, uh, Soar and all these other like like but FaZe obviously being the, the most popular one cuz it's the most popular one today. Not just in 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 Call of Duty, just in in all of esports, right? Um and Optic at the time was that, right? We were the creme de la creme fucking baddest of the bad uh so yeah we started sniping and little by little the popularity of these videos started to become big enough to where people who were already running competitive video games with counter-strike uh whatever uh they started to see this thing and they're like all right well we can probably monetize this shit too so then halo started to become a thing and then that halo and and call of duty sort of came up at the same time but mm -hmm. they were paying more attention to halo because they had the superstars right the first influencers that were bigger than just your regular gaming dude that's somewhere somewhere like, i've never heard of i didn't i have no idea there was bro, a halo community like that bro it's fucking crazy it's fucking what year crazy. is this yeah that's my next thing. yeah it's like, it's like uh 2009 2010 2011 that's why i was just how old were you then how old are you today i'm 32 32 right, i was so selling yeah. packs that's yeah. why i probably didn't pay attention. yeah 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 so I, I didn't grow up playing video games either i wasn't selling packs I wasn't well, even I, smoking I, I, I packs. Liked, but I then. liked video games still. Yeah. I, played, I had Madden, Call of Duty, and um, in GTA is the only three games I ever owned. Mm. Every time they come out the new one, I, I'll get that. Yeah. 
Yeah, so anyway, because of the popularity on YouTube, we were there because we were having fun fucking... Now, you got to think about it like this. Right? I'm 29 years old, right? I've worked in corporate America by... I was, I, was, I was in the Matrix for about 10 years before I discovered the power of YouTube, right? Before, the, before finding out you could even make a... Like, the second that I knew that I could make $2 on a video... I was like, I'm never going to do anything else for the rest of my life. <laughs> now, I, I have I have a house, right? I'm 29 years old. My daughter just came into this world. Like, You have another career. Yeah, I, I literally <laughs> had a career. Like, I, I I was a corporate dude. I was, a, you know, the, the usually white-collar dude. Fucking suits during the day. Oh, shit. Graffiti mm-hmm. during the night. No oh, shit. Hey, uh, the, the, the drinks are outside. Or, I ordered us some uh, smoothies. I hope you don't mind. No, no, go for you, it. You're only drinking water nowadays, all right? I'm sure. Tr- Trying yeah, is did I th- did I see that somewhere like because I saw your gym out there and I and I know that you've been trying to fucking get into that shit. Oh, I mean, I drink, I just drink a lot of water. I don't really drink. Yeah, unless it's, nothing it's, else. Not really, just juices and shit. If I get them, bro, water mm-hmm. to me, I I drink the majority of my water intake at night through the night. I'll drink like fucking a liter of water through the night. No, that's my my, my wife is like the weirdest shit ever. Oh, you like wake up and just start chugging water, bro? <laughs> but like chugging water, like chugging water for like fucking fifteen seconds, like fucking ju- just fucking filling myself up during the day. I'll uh, maybe three bottles, if that. Uh, anyway, where the fuck were we? <laughs> Hydration. <laughs> no, nah, we were talking about a uh, clan. <coughs> talking about no, you were in corporate America, <coughs> and then you were like, "I made two dollars. I ain't doing shit else." Yeah, I'm never. I'm never gonna do anything else. So that's when the optic dream began. And that's when we were just like, all right, we, if we're going to do this, let's do this. Let's be cooler. Let's be different. Let's do this, that, and the other. And sniping made it harder on yourself to get high scores and to win games because you're, you know. So that's where the, the level of skill and competition came from. But because of the viewership is where I was going. People paid attention to, to Call of Duty because of optic from a competitive level. If I was to fucking tell you the rest of it, it's just a bunch of like... Fortunate events that led to the Texas Rangers wanted to buy my my team for optic? yeah optic for fucking you know some crazy shit crazy crazy figures the Texas Rangers baseball well not necessarily team? let me rephrase that the owners of the Texas Rangers not the Texas Rangers oh okay so the owners saw you guys and said hey this is so popular on YouTube I bet you one of their sons watched it or something it's like where how come how come young people aren't coming here no more is what they were saying to themselves mm. it's like all we see is fucking old heads. Fucking parents and babies, but where are the teenagers? Where are the young adults? Well, they're consuming content here. And what's on here? Digital sports. What's the digital sport? I was like, well, fucking people trying to beat each other in a, in a video game. Um, so, yeah, so it was so big in the pop. I mean, Damn. I'm going to put it to you like this, right? In Chicago, where we started Optic and, and we did that, there was only one sports team that had a bigger social media following than us. And it was only because they had God playing for them in the 90s. Okay, the Chicago Bulls in at the time that I sold my team, the Chicago Bulls had four million followers on Twitter. We had three point four million on Twitter on Twitter. Okay. also optic gaming is huge. Video games are the biggest thing besides weed. Video games are are the second biggest next to music on YouTube. Oh, I'm not even talking about. I'm talking about in people's life right now. People are like, oh, I game, uh, I fucking smoke. I, mm-hmm. I'm not, most people are like, I go to concerts. It's not like that. I hear gaming, smoking, fucking weed, or cars. Hence the reason I am here today, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about Pine Park. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but yeah, it's massive. It's a massive industry. It's, it's the biggest entertainment. Uh, uh, what is it? Fucking space genre, genre in, in entertainment. Were you guys on camera during that time, or was it just the gameplay footage? Just the gameplay oh, footage. Shit. So you just sat there and you talked over and and you were talking about stories. You were story uh-huh. time. You were you were, you were hearing that shit. Just people telling about their day while playing the game. Yeah, it's like oh, and I'm going to this spot because look at the, the traffic and. I learned about this with that it was even a thing through Goblin. I didn't know. Surprise me. Even yeah, Go- Goblin there Goblin. showed me Goblin. Like a, a month and a half yeah. ago, and I didn't know about. I didn't know there was fucking teams oh, bro. going out I, I, there I, like yeah, just, fucking. You like want a one? football team? No, it's okay. Okay, appreciate it though. All right, well, I bought a bunch. Give some to my man right there, and then the other ones you guys can have. The uh, cool, thank you, sir. It's like appreciate a, it. it's like a actual basketball team going out and getting prep, wearing the same shirts, going in and fucking shit up. Face uh-huh. Clan just got a billion dollar valuation. Oh, they told uh, Eric, let me in on that, and I went, hold on, did you say it with a B? Oh fuck! So there's ten of them, right? He said. 
I mean, uh, yeah. Of dudes in the clan and that, that get to split that if they essentially got I mean, that I, money. I know, but I don't think I'm allowed to discuss it's not my team. Oh, no, but I'm saying like in general, if they got a billion dollars for their team, everyone got paid like that because they had such a good... I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that there, there, there was a, a prior investment into, into their thing, so like the debt would get paid off first <laughs> before they see any of that. For and sure. it's also them exercising options if they, you know... Because I think it was like a it was a SPAC, which uh, which means that it's publicly traded, which means that there's shares, et cetera. So I think they may be lo- I don't know. There's a lockup period where you can't sell your shares. I don't fucking know. But still, coming from I just ten years ago to that, yeah, hearing billion, it's insane. It's fucking insane. So sorry. Well, the owners of Texas Rangers saw you, saw you shit, and said, "Hey, we well, they, buy. they saw the the space, yeah, and they're like, who's the biggest? <laughs> like, oh shit, fucking hex over there. Let's go make them. An, <laughs> let's go make them an offer you can't refuse." And you sold to them. Yeah, I sold the uh, majority of it. Fuck yes. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Good shit. Bad things happened. What the fuck was it? Were you trying to do a soundboard? I was about to hit him with the air horn, but he said some bad things happened. So oh, I, like, I thought that was the fucking sound thing. I went, Marty, <laughs> what a terrible sound, but bad things happened. That's not as positive. No, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Just a, a little bit of uh, missteps here and there that led to my brand sort of looseness luster. Right? After you sold to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like <laughs> intricacies to that that we won't go into just because whatever. But the optic fans that are watching this, like they know they they know the story. <clears throat> the other thing that I like about OG things is that it'll warm you up and it'll stay warm. And it's not the that's why I got this shit right. Uh, anyway, sidetracked. Uh, but yeah, it's uh the, it started to sort of go on like a downward turn. So at that moment, I started to you know figure out a way to buy it back. And for me to be back in control and, you know, pointing it in the, in the right direction. So three years later, I was able to buy my brand back. Oh, shit. Yeah. Was it hopefully for less than what you... Yeah. Mm. Wait, what are you saying yeah to? I'm saying, <laughs> did you get a better deal buying it back? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. So that's a yes <laughs> for me. We'll just say it at that. Um, no, look, at the end of the day, you know, business people made the best business decision at the time that they needed to make but the decision. They, were you still running it even though you sold it? Like no, did did? no, That's I why. tried. I tried. I tried to help. I tried so hard. But you weren't like the president still. But got so far. <laughs> and in the end, it didn't you just uh, bought it back anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, has there ever been a better fucking quote from a song to mm. fit the story? That was incredible. That's all the weed, dude. <laughs> I, I, you, think, you, 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 you think I'm going to be this creative? Perfect, bro. That was amazing. Uh, seamless. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, look, it, 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 at the end of the day, as I said, people made the, the best decisions for themselves and their business at the time that they needed to make it up. But but yeah, it's a, there's there's very valuable, like the top 20 or the top 10 most valuable orgs, right? It's go, it goes face at a billion, as they just said. It's closer to like, uh, I don't. I don't remember the fucking specific numbers. I got fucking brain freeze. What does org mean? Organization. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Orgs. Yeah. Um, so phase. There's this team called TSM that was valued at like 500 mil. There was Cloud Nine that I think was like a 300 mil. Uh, my 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 boy Nate shot and his company just got like a 400 400 million dollar valuation. What's the valuation based on? Just the views. Uh, money, baby. But value. Like, I know, but the what is value it like? of the of the, the players of it? the advertisement? Yeah, them? I mean, if you think think about it like this, how uh, the Cowboys are worth what five billion? Okay, the Cowboys. Well, what does that mean? What what's what's what makes it worth that? It's not their revenues. Their revenues don't justify them being gotcha. worth five billion. Now I get it. It's how much somebody's willing to pay for that fucking team. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. if Jerry Jones says that his team is look, people can estimate that the Cowboys are worth five billion. But if you ask Jerry Jones how much it would cost for him to give up the Cowboys, he's going to say uh, fucking 40 bill, 50 bill. If I'm him, it's I'm thinking 100 bill. Him. That's how much he's going to... I already got bills. What the fuck are you... I want to need mm-hmm. more bills for. Mm-hmm. But there is a certain level of bills that, that that would make a billionaire be like, yeah, those are more billions, right? So it's, it's worth what someone's willing to pay for it. Your show... <sighs> I'm gonna give it to. I'm, I'm bringing you a cookie right now. The show that you have right now, the most popular cannabis podcast in the industry. If somebody came in and said, "Yo, I want to buy the rights to to your shit," gotcha. okay, and then you're like, "All right, well, can you just?" It was like, "How much is your channel?" Well, my channel can't be monetized; it makes no money. Someone still wants to pay you for it. How? How are they gonna make their money back? Well, they'll figure it out. But that's how 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 it goes. So valuations are based on you know what they are. To give an example, Optic is part of uh, twelve 
of, of a 12 uh, person group that decided to buy a franchise from Activision to be one of 12. So we have uh, Texas, so we have Optic Texas. There is the, there's two LA teams, LA Thieves, LA Gorillas. LA Gorillas just won uh, the championship this past weekend in Minnesota. Now, how much did it cost to get into this league? 25 plus million dollars to buy the spot to be in this league. What? So 12, 12 people, 12 people, 12 groups, right? The Crafts, the Cronkies, the, the Rams, they own the LA Gorillas that just won a, a championship in Call of Duty. Yo, this is a this league? This is fucking insane. This blew my fucking <laughs> mind, man. Yeah. I had no idea that there was more than like five groups doing this. Well, you said Activision. So they're the, explain like how they're the So Activision, the and Activision owns Call of Duty, which yeah. means that they own the metaverse of Call of Duty, right? The world of Call of Duty, they own. Nobody owns basketball. If you, if us two want to start the, the pot league, right? You have your team. I have my team. Whatever. We don't have to pay mm-hmm. basketball anything because basketball yep. belongs to the world. Mm-hmm. That was a perfect way to put it. Call of Duty is owned by an entity. So I can't go and start my, I mean, I could in theory, but once you start monetizing and become popular, then obviously then Activision is like, yo, we own this. Where's our cut? Rightfully so. Yeah. They're the ones that are investing in, in doing all that shit and sweat. What did you do before you started the gaming? What was your actual field of work? My last job was an account analyst at AIG. Say, because you, you, the way you're speaking yeah. and breaking these shits down for me, I feel like you have done some presentations before. You applied that knowledge to fucking gaming. 100%. Like, and then parlayed it probably. Gosh, you- before anybody, I would imagine, right? Guys, you guys are embarrassing me. No. <laughs> but, I'm just trying but, to fucking understand. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to wrap my but, head around. But it a please bit. keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I worked in the more uh, in the um, insurance industry as an account analyst. What I did was made sure that uh, George Lopez or whoever the fuck had their shit there uh, had the proper insurance. So let's say he has a house in in L.A. Okay, which he does. If it doesn't have earthquake insurance or the proper whatever then he's exposed and his three million dollar house if it goes down in a fucking earthquake you're fucked right it's not insured so that's what i would do my biggest account was uh facundo bacardi the great 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 grandson of uh bacardi empire oh god yeah this dude too you know, much money. Mega wealthy. Too much money. There's levels to this <laughs> yeah. shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Scary. Like, yo, no, I, I bought the plane. I'm like, fuck. All right, let's yeah. go. <laughs> That's a different level. Because I've, we've talked about it before, but I'm sure you have too. Have you ever been around someone so rich? You go, I can't chill with you, motherfucker. How much you just spend? Get away from me. I can't be there with you. Mm-hmm. That's my savings account. Yeah. Get away from me. Yeah. It, it's this, a it, weird it happened. It happened two years ago here in LA. Yeah. And uh, I was with a couple of friends, and I'm like, I was at this one person's house, and I was like, man, it's been a long time since I've felt poor, right? This dude, I was a Notch's house, the, the, the creator of Minecraft. Ever heard of Minecraft? Yeah. Yeah. So he sold to uh, Microsoft for five, uh, 2.5 bill, and he beat, when he bought his house, he beat, his bid was higher than Jay Z and uh, and Beyonce, seventy eight bill, uh, seventy eight million or something like that. For a house, yeah, a fucking mega oh. house. Yeah, and he's like, he just lets people chill there, and I'm, I'm like, yo, you're not afraid that someone's gonna steal your shit? He's like, what the fuck are they gonna steal? They gonna take how are they gonna where where are they gonna take this fucking three million dollar bike uh, Harley Davidson? Where are they gonna take that shit? Okay, where are you gonna sell that shit? Jesus at? Christ, yes. I get that. Damn, that's awesome. So the guy that made Minecraft, my little brother, bro, how much money have I given to Minecraft never once pressed a button to play it? Mm. I mean, $1,000, my little brother Wait, was on Oh, shit. he was playing on servers. Little brother. Yeah, but like, no, getting the fucking costumes for Halloween and the swords for his yeah. room and buying this and the, the new, oh, fuck. My little brother's a big gamer, dude. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So growing up, like Minecraft, every five seconds yeah. is all I heard. But you it's know, my second favorite game of all time. I've never played it once, but I watch him play and go, it's pixelated. I've, been, far- say, I've yeah. been farming on Minecraft since fucking, uh, since 2009. Damn. I like Minecraft because it reverts you to the earliest stages of humanity. There's no technology, no. But there is electricity somewhere. 
You just gotta harvest it. I've never <laughs> played it. I don't get it. I'm yeah, just, it's I a survival it. game. That's but it? it's a survival game. I mean, it became so much more. It, it is the best game that has ever been created, ever. Period. Ever. Whoa, whoa, easy. It's my second. It's my second favorite. But it's it, it, if we're looking at facts and the coolness of it, it's the it's, it's the best game that's ever been created. What? I just saw my little brother pixelated when like he fell into a lava pit. I went, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> yeah, there but, wasn't enough but did action. You, but did you know that if you go, if you if you collect bedrock, uh, I'm sorry, if you collect uh, what's Dragonstone in Minecraft? Oh, fuck, I'm so high. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's it's a dark. Let's pretend it's a uh, ma uh, what, like fucking lava that's turned into a rock. What's it called? Lava rock. Magma. No, lava rock. Man. We all went Dr. to school. Evil. We all went to school. It's uh, called us. magma. Uh, <laughs> fuck, man. I'm I'm gonna get Obsidian. Huh? Obsidian. Obsidian, right? It's called obsidian rock. If you collect ten of them, you can create a portal that will take you to hell. In hell, you go to a castle in which you fight a fire monster that gives a fucking a blaze rod. You bring this blaze rod back to the reality. You can make a potion that can allow you to swim in lava. Hmm. See, you know, that's how complex this fucking thing is. Somebody, somebody created a computer inside of Minecraft with Minecraft's technology. I don't even get. I don't, that is exactly. That's confused the shit out of me. Uh, Marty, I was oh. like, <laughs> me too. You think what? of like when Franklin's in the game playing a video game, that yeah. type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a game within the game. Whoa, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's called yeah the the service where you're spending your money for your little brother. I think he's in a server, might be in High Pixel or some shit like that. I don't know. Playing, you know, buying fucking skins and shit. And yes, then, and then going in there and fucking playing like mini games. You can you can play a game in Minecraft where it's fucking ten levels of uh of sand blocks that every time you step on one, you keep falling and falling and falling and falling. And there's like twenty four people in there just running <laughs> around cubes trying to knock each other down. That's the game. Over and over again, over and over, over and over. So you're saying that's the best game ever created? Yeah, it's just so good, so so good, so simple yet so fucking complex. Like me. <laughs> Does your team play other games? Yeah, right now we play. We compete in uh, Call of Duty, obviously, as I mentioned, uh, Halo, Valorant, uh, and those are the ones right now. I Am I forgetting anything? Valorant. No, that's it. You have heard of Valorant? No, I said never heard of that. Yeah, Valorant is like a it's like cartoon Counter Strike. Never heard of Counter Strike. Never okay, it. boom. Somebody who who knows that is gonna laugh at the joke that I just made. <laughs> it's everybody sick, that sick. follows us yeah, is yeah. a gamer, bro. Yeah, everybody. Hell that yeah. Games. Well, and shout out to everybody. Everybody, because I have a Twitch. Set. Like, look at. I just don't have time to play. I, I get hooked on games, mm -hmm. and if I start playing, I'm like, oh, uh, I had to do what? I can do that shit tomorrow, and I'll be fucking hooked on. Mm. It's too fun. I watched my cousin play Doom the other day. Games have gotten so fucking awesome lately. Doom. I haven't. I mean, I know what Doom is. I just haven't played it. in the new one? Yeah, the new and I heard Holy the new one still. Holy shit. It's on another level. And a uh, Elden Ring or something. Elden shit. Ring. You, my little brother's on that. Dude, games now are fucking insane. They're mm. fighting demons. It's like a <laughs> Masterpieces. movie. Masterpieces. I'm just watch it's like a movie, yeah. dude. It's incredible. The Call of Duty, uh I play the story. My 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 uh brother bought it for me. Because he knows I'm like, I'm not gonna buy it I don't I'm not gonna have time to play it. But now it's like, what if I just do it on Twitch? That's work to me. Now I can do three hours every couple, whatever, and actually get to play games and go, all right, turn it off. Because if not, I'll be up till six in the morning yeah. playing the same fucking game. Bro, mm -hmm. how I justified playing as much Call of Duty as I did is by making a living off of it. I'm like, I'm like I can't justify me spending this much time if I'm not making money on it. And pardon me, little by little, this became a thing. <laughs> Since 2009... I've been out of the matrix since 2009. Mm -hmm. That's Is it mainly YouTube or do you you is Twitch in the mix? Yeah. Where does it compare to YouTube in your world? So so uh so I was the CEO of Optic for as long as I, you know, since Optic became. So, but I was also a content creator. <clears throat> I just happened to be the oldest dude in the room, right? And understood what corporate America was like, so I thought that I you know, I, I, I wasn't going to compete with the top 1% of the top 1%, right? So I'm like, well, where, where can I help? And that's where the business side of, the limited business side that I knew happened. Like, my first business was Optic. So that, that was another question. When we brought up gaming thing earlier, I didn't see it as gaming. I didn't see it as, I saw it as more of like an entrepreneur that, because look at, 
you're making money not just off of, and not even just making money, you're making a huge business off of, I'm assuming, merchandise after the fact, right? Oh, yeah. That's where a lot of this comes <clears throat> from too, right? So for a lot of people out there, I know this is like a game now. This is, I mean, this is like an actual career that people see because my cousin, that's all he ever talked about. Like, no, I'll just play games. And he is fucking amazing at games, but he doesn't really like doing the... Uh, Video part of it, yeah, but that I think has to go hand in hand. Right now, it right does. Now. Yeah, it, you can't just be like, "No, man, um, I just want to play." I'm gonna, yeah, the, uh, I'm gonna tell you why. Right now, it does. Right, it's uh, and and I mean, obviously, like you, right, successful podcast. Uh, how many other channels do you have besides this one? Uh, oh, you have your your vlog channel, right? Three, two, two or three. Which ones can you monetize? None. Oh, okay. one, one family yeah. friendly one. The family friendly one. Yeah. Right. So, like the the, the like the, the ability to fucking play this game. There's layers to it, right? Because you can get sponsorship money, right? For, you know, people wanting to push their glass, people wanting to push their, their papers, whatever. Like, that's a form of advertisement that, that, you, that you get to take, uh, partake on it. With, with your own merchandise, with your own product, like, you don't need to pay advertising. You, you are the fucking advertisement. You are what people are paying to advertise. So it's just as easy for you to pay yourself by doing the thing that you're already doing and pushing your clothes. Yep. Pushing your trees. Episode yeah. one was sponsored by Push Trees. Yep. yep. I've been doing the Push Trees since 2013. So that's all that paid my rent until mm -hmm. I started getting paid to do content yeah. in 2019. Yeah. That's the only reason I was able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the one of the things that I've been able to do well is get involved with, uh, get involved in everything that I'm passionate about and making business out of them. So I, I love bass fishing, for example. I started this streetwear brand uh, for bass fishermen called Bashers in 2016. I figured if 10% of my audience who also enjoys video games also enjoys fishing, they're going to buy my shit. Cool designs, buy me. They know me. So it's an easy relationship. Uh, but through that, I made friends with uh, what are now the biggest fi uh, you know, bass fishing influencers in all of YouTube, right? Because of you know me knowing them, them sort of listening to my advice when it came to the strategy behind YouTube and how to grow specifically on a team basis. Uh, so, you know, that became a thing. So now, you know, I have ownership in, in, in that brand and it's like a massive, massive, massive fucking once in a lifetime brand in fishing disruptor of the space. You go to any Cabela's, any dicks, any like we're the best soft baits company in the United States. You, oh, it's a bait company. Baits. Yeah. Like, like worms and shit. Yeah. I got you. What's it called? Uh, Guggen. Guggen, okay. Guggen. Damn. Shout out to my boys. So basically you saw it as, oh, how are we going to monetize what we're doing? Yeah. Oh, we're going to sell bait because it's something that you would sell. Like, uh, say me, like, sell bongs. Yeah. Your audience wants one. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, mm -hmm. it's your business-minded person. That's really yeah. what this is. You're seeing, and it's not like you're taking advantage of people. It's like, no, 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 no. You don't have to buy this. No, no, no. If you want, it's us. It's made by us. You know we're not going to yeah. do bullshit. And yeah. it's the same shit in the video. Because what, why would any YouTuber who has any level of success try to push you on a $10, like $10 is ten dollars is not enough to ruin any trust or relationship with mm -hmm. that has that has been feeding you for so long, right? That's why you trust the influencers. That's why you, you, you that's why advertisers pay influencers what they pay. And credibility. Yeah, because of the credibility. Mm -hmm. Because they're not gonna just talk shit because then they're gonna be like, well, I, I just betrayed my people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why, that's why we're valuable. Because we have that level of access that they don't. And sometimes, you know, people fuck up, right? Like this is this is we're humans. So I'm not saying the, I fuck up, right? You know what I'm saying? Papa's perfect. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, there, there there have been influencers that have like promoted the wrong thing, of course. And it was like like you would have made the same fucking mistake. These these are young people who have never had a sense of business and and, and their manager or they thought it's a good idea. It wasn't. You know, mm -hmm. I was gonna say sue them, but I'm like, no, don't fucking sue them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know what I mean. Put it perfectly though, because. I've seen some people that I know. I'm like, whoa, you're advertising that? Ooh, no, don't do that one. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't fit you. Yeah, but do like, you tell them. Of course. Good. That's like, a good yo, friend. The teeth right there. whitener, bro. You're a fucking rapper. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing teeth whitening ads right now? Your credibility is not looking good right now. Look like you're. Does striving. he have good teeth? No, they wear grills and shit. Oh, I'm just saying, like enchant, like. Doesn't matter. That'd sense. be like me advertising some fucking. Yeah. I don't know. Some, how about how about, how about about nicotine? Some shit we Thank turned you. down. Yeah. Thank you. Like we turn we. If me and Mar, if I accepted everything, I'd do a hundred videos a month. 
You know what I'm saying? There's only certain things that I can pick and choose and go, no. Yeah. I know my audience will like that. And yeah. I really hope this is worth it. Yeah. That's the only time I'll do shit. Yeah. Like with us, we pick and shoot. We turn down mm. motherfuckers every day. Yeah. Yeah. Because it doesn't work. Oh, uh, yeah. The nicotine these company. Motherfuckers. We, we <laughs> go. Go. We turn down this fucking. We turned it down just based off the fact that we don't support cigarettes and shit. Yeah. Lo and behold, I go and put on YouTube. They're advertising the fucking company <laughs> on our fucking money, yeah. on our ads. I'm like, oh yeah. man, you guys got us anyway. Yeah, you bastards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got a cut of that. Your channel should. Oh, this channel's monetized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this channel, but okay. my main Usually. one, my main one's not, and that's yeah. the fucking Why is that? bummer. It was monetized for the first like year and a half, but it would always say like four cents, and then it'd be a gray bar across it. Like it'd be like. Mm -hmm. Opaque is what you call it. Yeah, a little yeah, transparent. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one time YouTube gave me like six hundred dollars, and I went, "Oh my god, you paid me!" Mm -hmm. But I see the numbers. They still run ads. They don't pay me anything. And then last year they gave me a message saying you're not el ever mon uh, eligible for monetization. Erase, like basically, take your videos down for reevaluation or whatever. But they owe me like over almost two points, like eight million dollars, man. Because I've got a lot of fucking views had, on my channel. Yeah, but views versus ads, though, that's different. No, no, I'm talking about they were all monetized. Mm. But I never got no money. Mm. It was a gray bar across. I, he remembers. It was a gray bar across my shit. Ads are coming in. I go on Social Blade. I'm like, the Double Jill is making this much a month. I'm like, yeah. what the? Where? I never got that shit. And then one day it had like five bands in it. And I went, oh, my mm. fucking God. And then it disappeared the next day. Mm. They're running ads. They're running ads. You should, you should, you should... I mean, there's they've deleted me before too. Yeah, legal recourse, man. I know, but I mean, I, and look, I'm not saying, hey, YouTube, I'm not, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm yeah. not saying, that. I'm I'm saying that. Yeah. it's just the weed. I apologize. We started no, this shit. Yeah. No, but but I'm saying, like, it's if if especially nowadays, like, you can verify whether or not there were ads running against it the whole time. Yeah, but so that's very this verify with me. Time. It's like I just want a place I can post. Fuck the money. Like I'll let them keep the money because I it's more valuable to me to be able to talk to everybody. Make content is more valuable because in the long run. I'll make more money than that. Mm -hmm. So I don't want them to be like, fuck you. You want your money now? F Erase this channel forever. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, guys, this is a community here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what pissed me off mm -hmm. the most, dude. So have you tried? Uh, have you reached out to anyone at YouTube? <sighs> no. Kinda, okay. Kinda, all right. Kinda, yeah. Oh, thank <laughs> Bro, you. Oh, my God. Yo, I'm going I'm to be, be honest with you. <laughs> Earlier... Well, we were fucking, I heard something and I'm like, nah, it's just it's the voices, dude. Uh -huh. But now I know that you're pushing shit over That's there. That's why I said, no, I keep them on because sometimes Marty uh -huh. puts some funny ass noises in yeah. this shit. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good timing. Uh -huh. Good timing. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't been putting the fucking, the laughter in the background every single time I've said a joke. Uh -huh. It's Man, fucked up. No, fucking I'm doing up. the real fucking laughter. Yeah. yeah. He's the audience. Yeah. So you're saying I can talk to somebody on YouTube? I got you. Uh, you. I'm going to put you in contact with someone to at least Appreciate start it. start the conversation about like what's going wrong. Yeah, man, cuz sometimes it's like bro, I didn't do nothing wrong. Pretty petty. It's not even it's not even the money. Yeah. It's I get age restricted and shadow banned so heavy. I get yeah. uh, I understand age restriction. And a thousand people a day like, "Yo, I'm unfall I unsubscribed again." No. Hundreds hundreds of people daily like I'm still unsubscribed on my 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 Legal channel, like the one that I don't smoke or nothing. I have like two twenty thousand on there, but I don't use it. You know what I'm saying? Order one. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got my my what is, my, my friend Josefo's over there, and I, and I'm like, yo, let me get another slushy. He's like, there's no more. Fuck. Okay, so fuck me. <laughs> Order all so of us. Fuck me. <laughs> um, yeah, people every day like, yo, I'm unsubscribed again on this yeah. channel too. Like, it keeps unsubscribing me, and people like unliking. Like, I liked mm. the video when it started, and now it's not mm. liked again. So it's like, is it like a little fuck you to me? I'm so explicit. Because my channel, like, I don't. I'm going to tell you something. It's not. They don't, they fucking, it's automated. There's no, there's, there's no human back there that has a grudge against you or your channel. But thing is, I've been deleted 25 times on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, but, but, but that's. Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, those are, those are, those are different. Google and the amount of channels that exist on its platform has to be automated. I feel that one of uh, one of I, my best friends was the head of gaming of uh, of uh, Google up until wow. like last month when he moved to Polygon Studios. So I'm plugged in. You know what I mean? Here, you need to get through the door. I got you, <laughs> dude. Appreciate. It. I just honestly, everybody that's just watching this in the chat right now went for real because mm -hmm. they know mm -hmm. I get fucking played on the internet. Yeah, and like, you've never reached out to anyone. Trying I, to talk I went to, to Instagram once. 
and they told me get uh, the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't know about Instagram. Yeah. Instagram is, is the only place where I I think I have a plug. I don't even. I mean, it's not even certain. It's it's. I think. I think. I think I can. Got you. But yeah, for YouTube, like Twitter, YouTube, Dom I got Shadow Man, hard. Uh, it's 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 weird. It's weird. They deleted me for a month. Didn't there, respond to anything. They were just like on Fuck some you. giving us the runaround. Like, the, oh, there must the be a night, mistake the here. Night Sorry, I had a million. Mm. I was at nine nine five on YouTube. Me, yeah, and they get the me. fuck nine nine five. I don't know. I don't eight. know. There might be a person. That that sounds like a. Well, play. we were emailing back and forth with a live person, and then and then they told us fuck off for a month. Marty pulled the race card for me. Eight minutes later, my channel's back because it was for real. I'm like, yo, why? Mm -hmm. What did I do differently, motherfucker? Yeah, there's, there's only one. If there's an equation. You know, I'm like, and the only thing that's that's left to be like, like I didn't want to go there. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, it took me eight years to say it, yeah. but uh, is it this? Yeah. Fuck, man. I don't even speak Spanish. Look at this part. Yeah. yeah. Like, yo, he's cool, man. <laughs> no response. Like, just look. the channel back on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then no response, no emails. Channel was just on. Mm -hmm. Getting these chairs. I was driving to pick up these chairs, and my fucking channel was back. What the fuck? Yeah. It has to be automated. Yeah, and I was gaining like maybe three or four thousand subscribers a day. Fuck. Now I'm at like 400, 200 a day. And it's like, it's like people are like, I haven't seen you post in months. Yeah. I go, dude, I post every, every Thursday. Fuck. And every video had about fucking 30 hours going to it. At That's least, the other thing. At right? least. Because of my main channel, like, it's like we're at 1.3, right? It took mm -hmm. a year to hit 300,000 more. Mm -hmm. And before that, it'd be like 80 a month. I'm like, whoa. All right. What are you doing to me, mm -hmm. motherfucker? But it's okay. I just don't know what the problem is, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what it is. Well, we'll we'll, we'll try to figure it out. I'll, well, yeah. I won't, but I'll you know I'm gonna pass yeah. that up to a, to, to a friend it. in there. I have a yeah. It's it's more than likely just fucking some something that you got dinged for super early on that no longer applies, but the algorithm still recognizes it. Look, AI man, they don't give a fuck. Just crazy. Now, what There's about no when room for weed goes federally legal? Mm -hmm. In your opinion, like. And I, I'm like, when that happens, the doors are going to fucking, when YouTube, like, when weed becomes a category on yeah. YouTube officially, oh, fuck. Yeah. Man. But even then, you got to, because look, you think Taco Bell doesn't want to fucking advertise the potheads? I, 100%, and I have <laughs> proof. Here's, 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 <laughs> here's, why, have you been sponsored by Taco Bell? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the lady that used to run, like, do the marketing, yeah, she's a fuck. she owns a weed company, and she told me, she's like, all we do is think about potheads, and that's why we yeah. the fourth meal. Yeah. And then uh, she grabbed my fucking dick drunk at a party, and then damn. I walked away. And then I, that's the uh, story. So, that's lady, it's your channel. fucking fault. Yeah, damn. That's a clip. Yeah, she was faded. Damn. That's Put why I know blast. Taco Bell. I always fuck that bitch. Oh. Hey, man, her boyfriend was eight feet away. I went, oh, oh bitch, oh. get away from me. I felt so disgusted. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a, the, the, the thing that's going to finally open it up for, and I'm talking about just everyone on the internet. Right is the advertisers. It's not. It's not the platforms. It's not. You know. It's mm -hmm. not fucking YouTube. It's not Twitch. It's not Google. It's not Amazon. It makes me feel better. Yeah. No. It's not. It's not. It's not the platforms in which we operate. It's the. It's the. I'm gonna tell you what it is. There's this fucking old ass dude, head of, uh, you know, VP of marketing for Pepsi. Okay, the VP of marketing for Pepsi, and he is really good friends with some other old gray-haired motherfucker across the street that runs the biggest ad agency ever, okay? And at the end of every year, he sends them a gift and he sends them a gift. He says, hey, thank you for spending money on TV and on fucking newspapers and fucking billboards and shit. Beneath all these old dudes, there's dark, handsome ass motherfuckers, right? <laughs> you know, women that are just ready to fucking make some cash, you know what I mean? Killers advertisement killers that are just ready to be like, why the fuck are we spending the majority of our advertising dollars still in the world instead of the, you know, the, the, the internet? Like that's where the money needs to go. But they're like, Hey, I've always bought, you know, the, the Sunday mm -hmm. paper. And this is my boy from mm -hmm. the paper who sends me some periwinkle at the end of the fucking, you know, whatever. Yeah. Pappy, Pappy Van Winkle. That's what I was saying. What I was trying to say <laughs> at the end of the year, and, you know, say hi to Marsha and say hi to whoever, mm -hmm. right? Once those dudes retire and go the fuck away, and maybe it might take, like, I don't know, that one and the one right below him before they get to the young people that truly understand the where this thing's going, where the true eyeballs are, that's when all of this, the, the floodgates are just going to boom. 
right? You're saying the generation has to die off. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not die off, retire off. Yeah, hypothetically. Yeah. What they choose to do. Afterwards, yeah, yeah. Like, what they <laughs> choose to do, if they want to die after, <laughs> like, if, if, <laughs> like it's a choice. <laughs> you know, it's like well, it's when they when they choose to do that, whatever. So, so yeah, it's not it's not the platforms in which we operate. We're just super early. Everything that we're building now, we're gonna we're gonna see a little bit of it, but the majority of the mechanics of all of the money that's gonna be coming into the internet. You know, it's ten years, fifteen years down the line. Yeah. After we, I mean, we, we you're you're still young. We're still gonna be around for that. I we're gonna take it, but we're just oh. gonna have to wait. We have to build and wait. That's the worst. There's a fucking mega YouTuber that is thirteen years old, doesn't have a YouTube channel yet, but is going to be that because everybody before him has to allow to mm -hmm. teach how you spend proper money on the internet. You know what I mean? Totally. It's like so. What I tell my players now, right? Like uh, uh the all uh, the. Call it three fifty a year. You get paid as a professional Call of Duty player, minimum. Uh, not a minimum. The minimum is uh fifty thousand. Sorry. Oh, okay, say yeah. Minimum. Yeah. Some people are making like three fifty a year. Wow. Yeah. Like to play to, to yeah yeah yeah, right. Like those those people these these players are all laying down the groundwork for the three point five million dollar contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just like an old football player, Jim Brown, and mm -hmm. that's the reason why motherfucking Marshawn Lynch can get a hundred mil. Mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same in podcasting like you always say, like the Spotify exactly. deal with Rogan and then the yeah. Pat McAfee deal with FanDuel. Yeah. And now that's all setting precedence for it to be normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 uh the thing about everything that we're doing now, like we're just replicating for old media that has then, but, but we're doing ourselves a disservice if we follow the book and the blueprint. We have to plug our own shit into it because for us to do the same thing that they did, it's not gonna work with this thing, mm -hmm. you know? So we have to sort of invent on top of what they've already invented. Yeah, innovate. Yeah. Innovate. Yeah, it's good. Let's go. You guys are getting some life lessons here, all right? These are fucking Jesus great Christ. lessons to soak and absorb. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, also, no, it's not. Don't listen to... I'm not advising anyone. Uh, I would I would take that as advice from right. me, not him. <laughs> I'll fucking second that. Because that's pretty much... This show is... We preach a lot of... Get out of the uh, Matrix? Well, not even so much that. If that's what you like, that's what you like. Just if you're not running the shit, if you're not... You know what? If you're not happy doing it, yeah. why are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? There's always another day you can wake fear. up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's most people's fear of change and or failure. Like, dude, I failed a bunch of times too. Eat it, dick. That was a while back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You have to throw the ball like 80 times before you're like, yo, that's a pretty good fucking spiral for the first time. Bro, I went, I went, what? And I'm not broke necessarily, but I lost like my livelihood when I was fucking like, at 27 years, 27, 28 years old. And then 2009 happens. The internet allows me to make money on shit that I was already doing. And then everything fucking changed, right? And so if you're younger than 27, you can get, like, it's, it's never too late to get out of it. You know what I mean? Any fucking age, too, though. Yeah, Any especially, age. bro, the internet has a lot. Bro, the internet has allowed you to be able, it, it's like the key for you to get out of the matrix. There are channels out there, bro, no bullshit. And I watch these now. There's, I, I watch these, these dudes set up cameras and then set up their camping equipment. They don't talk. They don't teach. They don't say anything. And they just set it up for like an hour straight. Just And they cook their fucking meals and I'm just fucking watching. They're not even talking. They're just recording themselves. There are channels out there that are, re, that, that are putting a 30-minute a, a loop sound of uh, fire crackling and then putting that video out for uh -huh. 10 hours. Yep. 100 million views. Yeah, because some people, I mean, it's... The rain, people, I want to know what kind of That's money the people that do the genius. rain. I thought about this the other day. How much are they making? There's like 200, <clears throat> 200 million views on some videos like yeah. that. It's fucking yeah. insane. No, what's insane is that they did that 14 times. Sound of rain. Rain in Cambodia. Rain in the forest. Uh -huh. Rain at the beach. Whoosh, waves crashing. Mm -hmm. yeah, rain at the... Rain at the strip club. <laughs> Yo, that'd be a kind of sick loop. Tell actually. me it wouldn't be. Yeah. That'd be kind of tight. <laughs> Drinks clinking. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just people talking. That'd be kind of cafe tight. sounds, street sounds. Yo, on Twitch, there's some people that just stream CCTV or live stream TV. Like, uh, let's go to Russia. Mm -hmm. Click a city in Russia, you just see a cafe mm -hmm. camera. 
yeah. click somewhere else. You're at a basketball game outside. Yeah. It's well, fucking On Twitch, insane. people watch other people play video games. All day. Yeah, you know All saying? day. That's, every day. Yeah. My that's, brother. That's where it's at. Minecraft has channels that are literally like uh, building a snowy cabin in the woods. And they're not talking. They're just playing Minecraft, building a snowy cabin in the fucking woods for fucking three hours. 300,000 views. 14 ads spread in between. <laughs> Fuck it, man. They're that, crushing that's, it. that's like a what? Like a twenty-seven dollar CPM by that by that point. So how, how much say uh, a ga- is it gamers? Because I know music is paid differently on YouTube. Yeah, is, are gamers played different? Uh, paid differently than just regular people vlogging and shit? Or is it all basically the same, same thing? Music. Yeah, same thing. Oh, so the guys are making money. How much money do you get per million? Uh, back in the day, it used to be a guaranteed two dollars and fifty cents. Wait, back in the day, two dollars and fifty cents per million views. Yeah, no, uh, per thousand views, so twenty five hundred oh, bucks. Okay. Nowadays, it varies because there's mid rolls, which are the the ads that you put in the middle, as you know. So your first uh, pre roll, the pre roll, the, the 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 one that plays below, and there can be two of those. Those can each be five bucks each, right? So that's a ten dollar CPM, right? Minus whatever YouTube takes and all that shit, right? My and whatever you your MCN takes, unless you're direct to that. And then in the middle, there might be like a fifty cent ad that they a little banner that, that pops up some quick, and then another one and another one uh, ten minutes later, so one dollar CPM. So I didn't know that they had prices on them. In theory, okay, I mean, okay. yeah, yeah. But th- th- that's how my my brain interprets whatever it is that it's it's some it's like that it's it's that gotcha. just the, what, the exact of it is not it's just theorizing. Fuck, so it varies, but on the low end, you're making about five bands, even if you just put like one or two ads on a million dollar a million view video. Oh, on a million view video, hundred percent. Yeah, Fuck. but 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 see, you're 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 not looking at it holistically, right? Because one video, let's say your podcast, let's say what podcast, you put our podcast that's twenty five minutes long, it's something quick, right? You get in the, in that podcast, you advertise uh, raw paper. I know you just had the dude here, right? They'll give you, I don't know, I'm theorizing, right? They'll give you, I don't know, fifteen grand for for the spot, most popular fucking. It's not just the views, it's the, the, the status that you're podcasting. Thank you. Yeah. You need to be our right. fucking pitch man. Yeah. Right. So don't get me fucking started. <laughs> this comes natural to me. Uh, so, all right. So it's not, it's not about how much YouTube pays you. It's how much money you make on that one single piece of content. So you have a 20-minute video. You'll make, and I'm talking bullshit here, you make $1,000 on that video. Uh, at the end of the month, it's $1,000 that YouTube's going to pay you for that one video. Well, on top of that, there was like three really funny clips that you also uploaded, right? You know, uploaded to shorts. Shorts is, you know, whatever, like right? nothing. But in that shorts, you're selling a one exclusive piece of T-shirt merch, and then that's fucking money. So you got merch, you got your AdSense. On top of that, you got Raw paying you for that. So you're making money on the ads that YouTube's running, on the fucking money that this dude paid to fucking advertise that one little spot in the middle of your thing. It's like, yo, guys, for real, that no bullshit? Ross is where it's at, right? Boom, right? You got paid for that to say that. And then on top of that, you're like, all right, well, this episode was brought to you by ExpressVPN, right? Or It actually fucking is. Okay. <laughs> it is? Yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's go talk. Let's, you want to tell them about ExpressVPN? <laughs> oh, what a better way to go into this ad read, the most organic thing you ever saw. So, introducing you to the Dope as Usual podcast, this is one of our newest sponsors. This is ExpressVPN. If you didn't know, my Dope as Yola channel is banned in Russia and Philippines. If your IP address is in any of those countries, you cannot watch any Dope as Yola video for the past four or five years. So, when ExpressVPN approached us, I thought, Perfect. So let me break it down as easy as possible for me. All right, for people like me that aren't great with computers, here we go. When you look something up, whoever provides your internet can see every single thing you're doing because they own that part. They can see everything. So no matter what you think, no matter how many times you clear your data, how many times you clear your cookies, all that stuff, it still shows up. With ExpressVPN, once it's enabled, it goes through their server and comes back out somewhere else. So it it can't be tracked and it doesn't show exactly what you're looking at. So basically, like if you're in Russia or Philippines and you want to watch a Dope as Yola video, you click and enable ExpressVPN and it it shoots you to another place where it is okay to watch that and now you're watching Dope as Yola channel. For all of our fans out there, ExpressVPN and our podcast have teamed up to give you guys this offer. If you go to expressvpn.com forward slash Yola, when you get the year subscription, your first three months are automatically free just because you watched this episode. If this interests you at all, guys, remember expressvpn.com forward slash Yola. That's three months free out of the first year. 
keep going. Keep going. All right, I'm on a different level right now. All right. I'm channeling shit so, right now. All right, so the, plus, all right, so you, so some dude that you know said, "Yo, I'm gonna give you like 15 grand for you to talk about this new fucking raw paper." It rolls itself, mm, breaks your nice. weed up and shit. All right, all right. So boom, you advertise that you got your 15 there, but then ExpressVPN is giving you whatever they're giving you. Right, so there's another one, and then YouTube's running the ads, but that's another one. But then you split that shit up into three different videos for three different little things, and then one of them got sent to Twitter. Uh, you, you're probably not monetized on Twitter, right? Because you can get fucking paid on. Twitter. Well, no, it's I right now. It's that. no, right now they're they're testing out the the things. The the you know it's it's a, it's a big platform, etc. So they, they've been testing it for a while now. I didn't know that. You, yeah, if you see ads, like someone's getting paid. Twitter. Yeah, if you see ads, like someone's getting paid, right? So. This one video that you created created an infinite amount of opportunities, right? For you to make money for the rest of life, for the rest of your life, right? Because what if you become a fucking, I don't know, you're, you're, you're 30 million subscribers. Like everybody that smokes weed in the world is now subscribed to you 10 years down the line. Well, you guys want to see a fucking clip from fucking you know, 2015? You remonetize that and it makes more mm -hmm. money than it's ever made before. So you know what I'm saying? Like well, it's, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I understand that. I love that you broke that down because I hope right. motherfuckers retain that. Yeah, that's the opportunity you have when you do shit yeah. for yourself. So a thousand dollars essentially is what yeah. I got for the YouTube money. Yeah, that's what I was just assuming. Like, like because the rest of it, I, that's the whole point of mm -hmm. what we do. Like mm -hmm. everything else has to, it has to when you don't get paid for certain things. Yeah, but to say for everyone out there, that was an example. Mm -hmm. We do not get paid to bring guests on <laughs> we didn't charge josh to come on the show sorry yeah, yeah. just in case you're like Didn't he oh really no charge? no no i know but and i shouldn't have said raw yeah no no, no, no but no. you just use it as an example that's a great yeah, example, yeah, yeah. Great example. Yeah. no but, but i do understand having to clear up like logical things mm -hmm. that should there are a couple of 15 you know slower motherfuckers out there that mm -hmm. need that, that additional <laughs> you know pause and be like hey hold on hold on, hold on. every hold time on. Just, like, to no, just to clarify you you look i know you don't mean your harm but you're kind of dumb. We know you don't but, understand. And it's cool. You're cool. You're cool. <laughs> yeah, but but think, let me fucking think better. Think, <laughs> just, just give it one more. Get, mm -hmm. Challenge yourself one more time before you open your fucking mouth. Yeah. yeah. I, I, one thing I always preach to people is like, yo, think about what you're going to say first. Yeah. In your head, say it out Bro, loud. Bro, the, the, best, the <laughs> best thing that anybody in the world can do that does what we do is to talk to them directly the way that you would talk to any of your friends. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. No one, no one, no one here is better than anyone. We, you just happened. He just happened to do a video that popped. Personality, one of a kind. You know, what I mean? that sort of thing. But we're all equals. Therefore, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk to you. Yeah. This ain't a fan, fucking personality Star relationship. Yeah. No, this is a uh, homies. Mm -hmm. You exactly. watch us. I don't know you yet. Well, maybe you will one day. Yeah. That's the first thing I recognized but about him versus the all the same comedians exact I worked with. Shit. They they a lot of entertainers think of themselves of as separate from the of fans. Of course. Thomas was just like 100%. this is one big ass community. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I shit so strong. 100%. Yo, whether it's like we're on here, the camera's off, or we're in the store, like it's the same fucking thing. Yeah. It's always going to be the same and I'm just as stoked as fuck to be like, yo, I watch your shit. I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Anytime. It's yeah, yeah. Like, yes, because that's the way you stay I mean if you were that way anyway, I think that you're just winning anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be your friend if that's how you are everywhere. 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah, hell yeah. It'd be tiring otherwise, man. You know what I mean? Like, if I had to be nice. Turn it on. You know what oh. I mean? Like, oh, God, I have to be nice. I have to pretend to be nice. Uh. Uh, like, no, I'm not nice, but I'm not mean either. I'm going to talk to you the same way I talk to my players who are my teammates and friends. No, Nobody at my or on, on my organization has never talked to me like a fucking equal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, 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 this boss shit, like, I, I don't do that. Like, I'm gonna talk to you as equals. We're both here to do a job. I just happen to be, you the know. Owner. Yeah. That's it. The only that, difference. Yeah. Of yeah. course. That's it. Fuck yeah. My, my social media guy always sends me a, every time I, I, I post food, my fuck calls me a fat ass. Every single time, my social media guy. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's the relationship that I have with my people. I thought you was like, what? To be, to be, to be. But if you're fucking with it, then it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I started it. That's you know what I, mean? <laughs> I started. It. That's different. I called, yeah, that's I called him. Guys. Yeah, but you know, like he, you know, this that's the that's that's the thing, and I and I treat everybody the same way. To do me, to do you, bro. Like think about how much harder it'd be if you have to fake this. Oh, I think about that. I said it the other day. Could you imagine going to sleep going? Oh, I, was I good on everyone? Oh no, I acted. Oh, oh fuck. fuck! Could you could you imagine people do the that stress? Too. People the do stress that. in your life having. To, I've met those people. Yeah, and I always think I feel bad for you. I do, because I couldn't imagine me that stressed mm. out inside. Nah, yeah. man. Whew. The internet has allowed for 
superstars to be superstars without the fucking you know the charades mm -hmm. which is good it's a great equalizer man exactly you know what mm -hmm. i mean like i, I would have been a fucking ray you know uh, corporate rat race motherfucker for the rest of my life if it wouldn't have been for the internet mm. love that i would just sold packs for the rest of my life if it wasn't for the internet when did you start smoking weed uh 1997 uh graduation day yeah yeah middle of the football field steamroller <laughs> whoa hold on hold on middle of the football field means that no, the graduation no, no, was still no, going no 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 in illinois no no my oh. parents would have been there that's why I <laughs> no, like, no 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 i was like I, I, uh, sorry yeah let me i, I see it like uh -huh. vividly obviously and i just assume everybody sees it too it was it was it was night it was close to like 1 a.m it was oh, after after back. no yeah it was after the the graduation party at someone's house Sick. and you oh. had been avoiding weed because I was like that yeah, too. Like corp corporate America doesn't like that. And if you get, so I, I was, I was kind of, well, I painted trains by night, right? So I would, I have a, a bank job. I worked in the banks and then in the mortgage industry and then find uh, insurance at the end. Um, but like I would, I would go paint. If I would have caught paint, if I would have been caught painting trains, I would have caught a felony or something. And that would have been a smudge on my record. And in corporate America, they don't like that shit. So I was running that risk. So putting weed on top of that, like that's yeah. a drug. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, I couldn't I do it. I feel you. No shit. I love that. Yeah. That, that's the day you're like, fuck it. it so did you start smoking? Sorry, go ahead. That's just what I was going to say. Did Regularly? Did smoking weed after that? Or yeah, is this like but, uh, no, I, 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 I never had my own weed. Oh, totally. Did you get the party? Yeah, I'll hit that. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, and it wasn't because like I was trying to be fucking shady or not by no. my, my, my own way. It just wasn't. It, it just wasn't like, a, like I didn't need it. it and if it was there, too. like, yeah. But like immediately... Uh, as I, as you know, as I mentioned, I, I, I used to draw a lot. So immediately, my brain was like a, a little bit better, more creative. Like I didn't know that that was a possibility. Yeah. And like immediately, I just, I just liked it, and I, and I didn't want to like it because it was evil. You know what I mean? It was, it was mighty wild. Well, your parents are real <laughs> mixed. You're gonna sound like my grandma and grandpa right now. Yeah. Woo! Even like, though my mom and my dad. Well, my dad specifically like, was a fucking mega, mega death, fucking queen, fucking, uh, like, fucking had long hair, hippie motherfucker, you know what I mean? Like, suave, uh -huh. you know? So I'm like, I know you smoked at some point. I've seen your eyes. Mm -hmm. And he says that I only smoked once and I didn't because it made me sleepy. I'm like, no shot. Weed made you sleepy back then. Or maybe no. it did. Hell no. There's no way. What did you feel? Shit, trash I, I say then? that. I say that. But the Shaitan Brown that I smoked mm -hmm. growing up still got me high. A blunt still got me high. I think is it is it as high as I get nowadays? I don't know. I don't think so. Different. The weed now is just on another level. Mm. There's some OGs I smoke that I go, <gasps> not because it's harsh. Yeah. It's just like, are you fucking kidding? Me? So good. <laughs> it's just so fine. Why? Yeah, but uh, but as a kid, I think back at being a kid. Yeah. Well, so hold on. Sorry, you started smoking consistently when uh fuck man consistently where you're like you about, know what? i have weed of my own I about, have a bong. about four years ago oh wow it took you yeah. a long time well yeah i mean think of, it, 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 i was it was ingrained in me that it was bad and society had put me in a position to where i had to choose between living the life that i wanted to live and i had to have the jobs that i had to have so i had to you know make a choice i get it or be a fucking criminal, basically. Every time yeah. you go to re-up and shit. Like, it's so fucking... Bro, it's so fucked up. I can't smoke weed in my house, man. I can't smoke weed in my house. I have to you're, wait... Because you're in Texas? Yeah. And I'm like... And think about the risk. You know what I mean? Think about my risk. Right? You, I you'd I, be I, fucked. I mean, I don't know if I'd be fucked because I, I think that I, I can afford a good enough lawyer. Not just luckily. Okay, yeah, right? you're right, you're right, you're right. But, like, at the same time, like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm ahead of a business and I am an advisor and a bunch of others... Uh -huh. And, you know, me being in the news for smoking weed wouldn't mean a shit to the fans. Nothing. Right? It would mean not, to my industry. But there are going to be, like, a couple of people that are going to be like, hey, you know. <laughs> Luckily for me, I've gotten to a place where I, whatever I do, like, I'm not going to get in trouble with anyone. I just can't. Like, if, if, mm -hmm. if I'm not a bad person, so I can't get canceled, right? Like, I'm never going to do something that's cancelable, oh, yeah. right? So if someone's going to have a problem with me, and even if they shun me from the fucking internet, it's too late. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm <laughs> good. The slight smile. smile. Yeah. Don't send me. You don't send it? me into retirement to go uh -huh. have a fire, a life of solitude. Uh, with my oh, wait, time out. I don't have to talk to anyone. Uh -huh. uh, I'll, my friends are still gonna be my friends. Fuck, fuck, right. fuck, yeah. fuck all this. <laughs> yep. you know, my, the, the the people that know me on the internet, 
We're still gonna be cool. Dude, I feel like he, this is some shit we've said like almost verbatim before. Yeah. yeah. But we don't do shit that's canceled. Everything you said is. I don't give a fuck. Is, yeah. yeah. Give a, you, my friends are my home. I don't give a fuck. Like, you're not gonna bug me? Good. I'm canceled. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Because you can't cancel somebody and you gotta make some, you gotta have to make some shit up about me. Yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a bad person. I'm yep. never. I'm, I'm not gonna hate on a, on anyone just because of something that they didn't choose to be. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not gonna. I mean, and I'm Mexican. I can't be racist. You know what I mean? Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Mexicans are racist. As you know what? It gets nice because they don't speak Spanish. I like all Mexicans. <laughs> I, I like all Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, we're good. yeah I went to Mexico though, bro, and they were like, when uh, like three years ago? Yeah, like you don't speak Spanish. I'm like they were oh. racist towards you, weren't they? Oh, big time. What do you this call one. that? Mm. That a lot. You know that sound. Mm. <laughs> Look at this. Like the, mm. Sound of disappointment. He, 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 he brought my <laughs> juice and this. took it away. <laughs> I, I'm, I got. He walks in with my juice and I'm like, yeah. And then he moves away. Uh, this one. Um, all right. So speaking of weed. Yeah. Pine Park. Pine Park. And this is how I was became of like, I'm chilling with Eric. Let me say this better. Mm-hmm. I'm chilling with Eric. And he's talking about the gaming. I'm like, I don't know about that. And like, you've never seen the fucking gaming. Because I've I've seen people show quick scope. Oh my god, I fucking shot. I didn't know they're making music videos essentially of the baller ass shit online. Yeah. I didn't know that. They showed me. He showed me uh he showed me you. Mm-hmm. Like, so you just own a game? I'm like, that's a thing. And then yeah. they explained everything to me. So that's when I looked you up. I'm like, oh, okay. What the fuck? A Wii company? Yeah. So Pine Park. How did this start? Since you're in Texas, you had to come back here and yeah. curate everything. So you're back and fucking forth. Yeah. Which I, well, I was already doing that anyway. Right? Like, I, a lot of my friends are here. Uh, it, it, it's good to make YouTube videos in, you know, over here because of the accessibility to other creators that are, you know, big or big enough to to do that. Although Texas has like a bunch, like a good, com- like a Preston Place is there. Like massive people are there. Dude, perfect. It's right across the street for. I know. I actually know who they are. I actually. So you shit. like? What do you watch on YouTube? I watch horrible things. <laughs> they took fights off YouTube, and it really upset me. Bum fights and shit. I used to just watch fucking World Star Vine compilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fights every Friday was yeah. my shit. Yeah. I just watch comedians doing shit. I don't watch YouTubers or channels. Yeah. It's random shit. I click. Go, mm-hmm. Oh. Norm McDonald being a di- okay, and I'll watch like oh guy Norm fights McDonald's lady. Rest in oh, peace. Yes, you know I'll just right. random shit. He did that right? Is that the one that? They- yeah, Norm. Yeah, he yeah. passed away. Um, I was because I was gonna make a joke. If you would have said like any other comedian, I would have been like ah, oh, you know Kevin Hart, the YouTuber, <laughs> right? Because he's on YouTube a lot. It's a big part of his business. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. His it's clips and shit. YouTube is a part of every. And, and if you're if you're an entertainer. You got to be so fucking Brad Pitt rich, right? Or that sort of a like top A celebrity for the last twenty years mm-hmm. consistently before the to internet, not, basically. Yeah, to to not want to have like YouTube or or give your fans access to you on a daily basis. Mm. You know what I mean? The the that that's the beauty again of of what we get to do. We get to be friends with fucking everyone. And you was fucked up is that they could have also been friends with fucking everyone too. That that the fuck room. Yeah, I just think some. I think some people uh, have that entitlement. I think they just think they're too fucking famous or cool. I, I, I see that a lot. I'm gonna tell you something. I have my own rules, though. Okay, as a popular person on the internet, I have my rules. Okay. If you see me at a restaurant and I'm standing up waiting, hell yeah, let's take a picture. One hundred percent. If there's a fork in my hand with meat on it, do not fucking come near me. <laughs> I'm eating. It's my, this is me time. Uh-huh. I don't let I don't let anyone come. My dogs, no one comes near me when I'm meeting. It goes back to blocking the flame and shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's his first day of high school. He saw that yeah. fight, and someone stole his yeah. lunch. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck, fuck. never. Yeah, but, yeah. but only because I didn't know how to speak English. Otherwise, I would have talked my way out of it. <laughs> out of my dude. Why are we the here? Uh-huh. Yeah. This is a simulation. It, imagine 1994. Uh-huh. It's a simulation. What the fuck? What the fuck's a simulation? You signed up for this shit, bro. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah. There's there's uh there's like no special effects back then. Uh huh. You yeah. know, I, I I talk about the '90s as if they were like the black and white pictures. Yeah, that's it where I've that's like where I've gotten though. That's where I've gotten to the point of yeah, yeah. But it feels like it, dude. Shit's so crazy now. Everybody has a fucking computer in their hand, and it's so insane. How do you go to school and not get straight fucking A's? Uh-huh. Right, it's gotta now? be tough now too. Yeah, how do you not have straight A's? Just 
AirPods. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck. You, I, how do you not make a tape? Put in your fucking earpod and go. Hey, answer A. I just it's realized how ashy I am today. Um, I'm just spilling ashes all over. No, you're good. You're good. But that's what we do here. That, that's you should see me. <laughs> There's weed. That's from earlier. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that's when I rolled the joint. <laughs> um, so sorry, Pine Park. Yeah. What is? The, I mean. If you're coming back to California, you're curating it. I saw you said yesterday you were doing your harvest. Yeah. That was Eric was with me. Yes, that was and, a and Tim. light dip. Yeah. That one. Where yeah, yeah. is that up north? Uh no, it was uh yeah, it's in San Jose area. Oh yeah. Santa it, Cruz. That's what it looked yeah. like. Yeah. So, you know, the 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 beauty of everything that I'm doing is that I get to learn everything for the first time. You know what I mean? Because everybody's so spoiled over here. You can go and if you want OG, you can go get it. Yeah, in in Texas or in Illinois, when I was living in Illinois, you got what the fuck you got, mm-hmm. right? So that so developing a palate to identify s- strains, developing a the ability to sense yourself in a state or in a mood while being high, and then trying to remember that as a sober person, like it's difficult, right? So it's, it's it takes training. So I get to do all of that, uh, a lot of it on camera, which means that other people who are also cannabis enthusiasts that don't have the access that Californians or other legal states have. Get to sort of vicariously live and learn through what I'm learning. I like it. Nice. Yeah. Which is why, like, the first season of Pine Park, we... First season? Yeah. So it's like every... You know, obviously, there's there's strains that come out in different seasons. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You're calling it like that. You I felt was like, like a YouTube season. I was like, no, yeah. wait, you guys, it hasn't been long. But it is. First no, season. it is. Yeah. Well, we're on season uh, three, four. Oh, three. It's three, season three. Fucking, I don't know. That's that's I fucking that's how we do the show. We do season yeah. one, season two. Yeah, I, I, that's what that's this like. This is a show, right? Like uh, this is a a, a piece of uh, art, right? Because the, the growers, you know, anybody can grow. It's, it I takes an artist. I love that yeah, yeah. you call it seasons. Yeah, yeah. Season one. Yeah. So season, season one. Two. Yeah, I love, I love it. That. Season it's one, great. we had we had Chem Driver and Chem Reserve being grown at the same time. And the, my thought behind it was, if people can get a chance to try two cousin plants they'll be able to like sort of tell the difference in the taste and the, the potency and, and that. I don't know if it really, you know, I don't even know if I can, you know, identify the difference, right? Uh, now. I you mean, will be I, able to. Yeah, sure. at, at one you point, will. yeah. So I was like, all right, so this is like, as, as I'm learning, like how would I like to learn and be able to tell the difference between these things? I'm like, well, let me try them side by side, right? So I'll buy an eighth of this and an eighth of that. You know, so, you know, in a sense, they get... Once, once you start training yourself to understand the difference uh, at that level, then you'll be, you're going to be able to tell the super difference between uh, that super cheese that you have in there and what you have here, right? Because there are different, you know, smells, different tastes. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, that, I, that's cool, man. Because if you're, like you're saying, they're living with you. Mm-hmm. Like saying they're like, uh, yo, I'm, I like Wii too. I fucking love Optic Gaming. I love Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. shit. I can now go smoke what you're smoking yeah. and learn what you're learning at the same time. Yeah. So I'm, I'm our lead geneticist, our genetics guy who has a fucking incredible library of like super old, you know, some, you know, so the, the guy's going to be developing our own genetics, proprietary genetics. He watched my videos when he was a kid, when he was like a 13 year old mm. dude. He's been watching Optic for over a decade. And now he and I get to work together. On this thing, Eric Khan, you know, you know, part owner of, of of Pine Park, also used to watch my videos as he was growing up. Crazy, right? So the way that I see it is like all of the people, like it, all the people that support you, that have been supporting you for so long, and then you're 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 for some, one day you're like, yeah, I want to start a window installing company. I don't know where to begin. Some dude is like, hey, my dad fucking owns one. Why don't we, you know, whatever? Mm-hmm. Then you like, you'd rather work with him than anybody else because they've been totally. supporting you. So it's your turn to sort of. Oh, that's how we back. make most of our connections. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's through people we yeah. meet through being vans. Yeah. So for me, like I can go into any state and license my shit and have people there because, you know, it's, I'm, a, I'm a global personality in the gaming industry, specifically in Call of Duty. And people have been watching me for a long time. So if I go to Illinois, I'm going to have a crowd. If I go wherever I go, I'm going to have a crowd. Mm-hmm. So the other weird thing about this whole thing is like, as I was sitting in, the, in, our, in our facility in, in the Pine Park uh, headquarters, I'm, I'm calling them laboratories from now on. We're, we're building technologies yeah. for, you know, people to take in technologies. Anyway, we're, as, as I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know what's fucked up? Is that people that watch me are going to be smoking one of these fucking plants that I've been... 100%. And at some point, a lot of members of the Green Wall, which is what we call, you know, our, our community, 
that we're all going to be smoking the same thing at the same time same from the same room. Mm. Like they may have been like right, those plants may have been together. They may have been in the same fucking plant. So I, my, my blind, no, my, I was like, boom. No, what you said, <laughs> when I, I dropped a strain like two years ago, we were supposed to make a company, didn't work the fuck out. Mm. Long story. I did a review. I mean, I did the vlog and I was, we were getting everything down. I'm like, guys, there's only small batches. You might smoke this, this fucking one, this very one. Right here. And it blew my mind thinking, yeah. oh my God, that's fucking it's It's, yeah. it's, it's so crazy. Because <laughs> like until last month, we packed every, I packed every order of everything. We always yeah. did everything. And everybody's thought, isn't that crazy knowing that you fucking packed this shit and yeah. put the sticker and wrote this little note? I'm like, yeah. yeah. It is kind of fucking awesome because it's 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 a little more personal, I think. Yeah. You know, it is. And they think it's you. crazy because they're getting it from you. How crazy do you think it is for us that we're like, we're sending this one to all, I can't believe all of you <laughs> yeah. fuck with me like that. <laughs> that's how, that's we preached that on the show. Like, wow, isn't that? Like, we were we at a concert, like, there's this many people in like our premieres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that many people collectively coming together. Yeah, going, yeah, yeah. Let's watch this shit. Yeah, love it. Powerful. The craziest yeah, feeling yeah, yeah. ever. And it's it's it makes everything kind of worth it and fun. Yeah, it, it, it gives it it gives it meaning. You know. Yeah. Instead of just like, everybody, oh, yeah, everybody views. can go to work. You know, everybody can go to work and fucking do their thing. But if it, if there's something deeper there than just fucking getting paid, if there's an actual thing that's happening, like there's, there's it's deeper. It's a deeper connection to it. Like it's an actual thing. Artists. Right, who paint whatever the fuck they're gonna paint? Unless people like react to it a certain way, it's like it's just what is it? just scribbles or something. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. That's how. That's, a, yeah, that's that, interesting. Yeah, that's how I feel about like when someone when I see someone wearing a shirt in public in mm -hmm. my own eyes, I yeah. still fucking lose it. Yeah, every, like I've passed by people like oh fuck, <laughs> and it blows my fucking mind every time. It's always someone right like. An older lady wearing my fucking weed shirt. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that was a nice one. Like, I see why you picked that one. Yeah. And it always blows my mind. Like, when packing orders, like, wow, Arkansas. Oh, shit, Merced, where I'm from. Fuck yeah. yeah. It's It makes me stoked knowing that we have that kind of, like, you know, yeah. same with you. I can go anywhere in any state. Like, no, we're going to be here. You yeah, guys yeah. should show up. 100%. And there's going to be a crowd because yeah. they fuck with you so heavy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had when we first launched, I had uh, appearances at uh, like the different dispensaries, right through through Coastal, and the amount of people that are showing up, so like three hundred people, fucking like massive amounts of people just fucking cycling. They'll bring some of them. Someone will show up and be like, "Yo, I don't smoke, but can you sign this?" Perfect. And it'd be it'd be a pack, and I'm like, "Yeah, boom, boom, boom." <laughs> I mean, you can give out the please give out the ingredients to somebody. Yeah. That, you know, don't hold on to that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's humbling more than anything, right? But at the same time, it's like you know, like give yourself some credit. You are funny. <laughs> How many videos and are you hands, still cranking out <laughs> per week? Me? Or uh, it, so now it's uh, so my podcast goes live once a week. The award winning podcast, the eavesdrop. The eavesdrop. Okay. What is that? Eavesdrop. Eavesdropping. Like eavesdropping. It's oh, just okay. it's a it's a gaming podcast where I interview. Uh, I just it's, it's not a gaming podcast. I interview just internet personalities. I've interviewed a bunch like uh, two of the cowboys. I, uh, Josh Hart has been on there, uh, and a million or 160 other people. I can't believe I have, I, I have 160 episodes, I think. Right. And only maybe there's been repeats, maybe only five times. Oh, so it's, so no, I know stop people, it's different people, which is wow. what's fucking uh, the fact that I know a hundred people. Uh -huh. It's more than that. <laughs> yeah. The fact that I know a hundred interesting enough people yeah. is fucking mind blowing. You you got to come on at some point. Let me I, I'll come down here. And I, 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 do it out here? No, no, I do it. I do it from home. I, I do it live, but I'll come out here to do it with you. Oh, okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah. We'll do a special. We'll age restrict it. You can. Oh, <laughs> you do that on your on your own. Yeah, you age restrict it. Yeah. Well, no, you because we'll be smoking smoking. Oh, so, so yeah, yeah. You, you and then you and then we'll years? also do the Pine Park podcast, obviously. Oh shit! So we'll do two, which will be more YouTube oriented stuff. Right, and then we'll do the Pine Park one where we can be ourselves, our true selves. All right, I'm with it. Anywhere, yo, I get age restricted no matter where I'm at. I've gone on other comedian shit and got age restricted. Uh -huh. So you let me, yeah, just be like, hey, this one, <laughs> don't say the normal thing because I'm trying to get to like normally, man. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a pretty fucking animated. I talk a shitload, yeah, yeah, but I really want to learn more about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I guest episodes, I don't really go as hard, uh -huh. but usually I'm fucking throwing, not for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, I love yeah. going on other people's shows because I get to go out and just, oh yeah, you asked me shit. All right, yeah, yeah, one yeah, fucking yeah. time. That's my Yeah, so I we'll do it. two. We'll do the, the gaming one so you can do that. But the Pine Park one, obviously, more industry shit. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So my very last question. Wait, we're leaving already? Oh, well, yeah. how long have we been here? Yeah. Uh, 145. Okay. Sounds about right. All right. All right. Um, I have a question. Yeah. So you have, you're now fully got optic back you bought it back mm -hmm. which is fucking incredible which is hilarious as hell <laughs> they're like yeah yeah we'll sell it to you we're fucking it up it's I mean, I don't, I that's I don't, that's not what happened no that's what i got from it i'm not you didn't say that that's what i i got um you came back now you have this cannabis business yeah right what's the next step are you gonna somehow try to merge this into a weed centric weed friendly team I, I don't. I, I mean, I'm. I, I'm. I'm. I smoke, I'm weed friendly, right? I'm like talking that. about like, yo, you said the Rams own the fucking gorillas yeah. or whatever. What do you have any plans of like? I don't know. Maybe there is some serious gamers out there that have a cannabis base following. Yeah. Is there a team like that out there that's weed friendly? I would N say, like in the weed leagues and shit like that. No, like saying, oh, Call of Duty. We have today the fucking. Yeah, Los Angeles, Stoner something, Mafia. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, not yet. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there in, in the future there will be, right? Like it's it's inevitable that YouTube continues to sort of repeat and reinvent itself into everything that it does. Uh, I think where where we're going is more of a you know it, we're we're a cannabis company, we're a flower company, but at the same time we're a media company. Like it's not it's not just this one thing. We want to we want to make sure that everything that's been applicable before in all of the businesses that I participated in have the same sort of uh, path, which is a an entertainment media company that happens to also sell flower, uh, gaming and entertainment business that also has to, happens to be really good at esports, so good that it's won thirty five championships, thirty four more than thirty five Call of Duty championships, wow. right? So it's it's a media company that happens to be really good at esports. It's a media company that focuses on fishing. It's a media company that focuses on golf. It's a media company that has a flower business attached to it. Conglomerate. No. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like how much like how can we make this more fun? You know what I mean? Like that's that's my mentality always. How how can we create more to make people want to spend some time with us? We mm -hmm. not met you before. This mm -hmm. is fucking crazy. This is a lot of what you've said tonight. Like, yeah. 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 Yep. It's We've almost this, like you were his, is, like you guys are on like uh, it's similar. fucking weird, huh? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's it, you, you were just in a different lane. Cuz I always thought about what if I did what I did and didn't have weed in my hand, what would I be doing right yeah. now? Cuz it's so ta taint like taboo still that I've been getting yeah. shit. I've been doing if I've been doing content this November will be a decade that I started doing all this. And just 2 years ago I recently just like, "Oh, I can actually monetize this." Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from, you know what I mean? So from my perspective, I always thought like, it's a you. It's a, it's, it's a you. Like, yo, no, th this is what I would have done if I never had to get tainted with weed. Yeah. I was doing something <laughs> else. And I was doing, yeah. I always thought, because advertisement's my shit. I bet you. But I'm bro, you're, 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 right you're, you're 32, you said? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> you got more than enough time to do all of that. Oh, f yeah, yeah. And you, and you will. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I'm saying from when I started. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Wow, because you were doing it what? A little bit before, like three, four years before yeah. I started doing this. But but imagine if, if, if you would have seen like that it's not just about this one thing. That y your relationship with them is so deep that you can go start your own fucking cooking show and they're going to fucking show up. Oh, that's what our whole you thing know what I mean? is now. It's like, let's do stuff that we like, that the fans will like, but do it fucking better than we yeah. could have ever yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we could have just, you know, there's, there's a lot of podcasts out there that have a lot of money and then and their background is not even and... Shit looks like shit, and you, you know a what I'm saying. Better example is you could have just did season four of story time where we just set up the room. Instead, you're you are completely reinvented this yeah, whole room. Yeah, exactly. Cause, yeah, because why? Because the fans are gonna go, oh, yeah. fuck, yeah, and that's the reaction I want. Because I always imagine like looking through, like, oh man, that's like that, that's their reaction. Oh, where are they at? They're at work, and I imagine people like, oh, I'm at work. Oh, I'm at school. I'm at oh, yeah. fuck. I'm jogging and I'm listening uh -huh. to you. Yeah. So I always think of like people's reactions. Like, hey, how can we make it even cooler? See, but you're thinking of your own reaction. The, the reason that you're successful is because you are so connected to what you want to see as a fan that you're creating those things because you're, you're like, you're imagining that the fans are going to be like, oh my God. And guess what? They are. 
but because you as a fan of of, of what you're mm-hmm. living sort of is putting out the, the the right sort of thing and you'll never go wrong like over if you the only time that you go that you might go wrong with it is if you overthink something mm-hmm. yeah if you don't let your instincts get i mean look where you're at dude like fucking it's because you understand you understand mm-hmm. this this connection and you understand this connection you know what i mean mm-hmm Big fucking time. Yeah, that's that, that's that's, that's how we started doing. Hell yeah, man! And like I said, it's just I wouldn't want to be friends with that person. Like mm-hmm. I do, I would want to be friends with that person. I am. He's just not. Yeah. We just have never met. That's what we just. That's our no. shit. We say on, on my other channel, like we're the same motherfuckers. We just haven't met yet. We mm-hmm. would be friends. We're just we will meet one day, mm-hmm. and that's the whole point. And it'll be brief. Better not be while we're but eating. But it'll, it'll be meeting. <laughs> better not be while I have a four. Yeah. <laughs> it better not be while I'm eating. But no, it'll, it'll, it'll be short, but it'll be meaningful because it'll just be like solidifying something that, that that's, it'll be materializing something that has always been there, which is the relationship. Yeah, and I just love it, dude. I love, because, you know, growing up as a kid, like seeing superstars, like I used to fuck with Brett Favre. Hey, like, wow. Could you Brett Favre's my favorite quarterback of all time. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Bro, when he won the quarterback challenge in 1997 off, the, off his back foot. Get the fuck mm. out of here. Bro, I was, nine, I was 17, you know, so it was easy for me, right? Uh, okay. And he fucking bombed that shit. I was like, that's my quarterback. And the fact and that. And you used to play quarterback? Yeah, I used to. Well, yeah, I, would, I mean, not. Yeah, that was my, that was my position, position of choice. None, right. none of my friends could throw farther or more accurately. To oh, this okay. day. Okay, mm. so I, I, I pride myself <laughs> on having a, an amazing fucking accurate arm. And yeah. I really, really do. Mm-hmm. It's kind of stupid. I try to be quarterback all growing up, and they're yeah. like, "You're fucking fat." I'm like, yeah, but I, I just tried out, bomb. just ruined him. Yeah. And they're like, "Yeah, but weigh you." I used to play city league. Like, wait, you're a lineman. Yeah. Like, all right, next year, same thing. One, like, but you're fat. I'm like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> and then one day, don't put your limitations on me. They, no, they give me a yeah, shot. Like, come on, I'll run them over too. Um, so Brett Favre was my shit growing up. But I have a whole long story. He dissed the fuck out of me in public once. No, so he hurts my he hurt my feelings. And uh, as a small child, as a kid, oh, bro, so that's no. why I have little toys of Brett Favre in my living room right now. Yeah. And still, I always say fuck Brett Favre. But God, <laughs> I love Brett Favre so fucking much. He's the, my favorite. He's well, my favorite I'm gonna football. T- player. I'm gonna tell you an athlete story. And one of my favorite athletes of all time, Shaquille O'Neal. Fucking growing up, Shaq, you know, Shaq, everything. Fuck, uh, Michael Jordan first, and then my f- second favorite was Shaquille O'Neal. Right, years go by. I'm I'm an adult. I have optic. It's 2013. We are at some. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina, or somewhere. And there's a basketball golf convention, and I see Charles Barkley in front of me, and I'm like, get the fuck. So I I'm 30, you know, 33, 34. Yeah, 33, 34 at that time. I go up to him. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Charles, man. I'm such a big fan. Can I get a picture? He said, Yeah, for sure. Boom. Take a picture with him. I got it. Boom. I fucking go and I see Shaq. Right, this was like later on in the day. I look, I, I look up because he's massive. I look up at him, and I see him, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Shaq!" In this on video, I'm like, "Shaq, get a picture, can I get a picture." He's like, "Not right now," right? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> he said, "Not right now." And I was like, "I was like, I was like, come on, man, really quickly, really quickly, man, really quick, can get a picture." And he's like, he's like, "No, not right now." And then his his uh, one of his security guards, you know, goes over at me and says. Not right now, man. Like, you know, like annoyed, and I'm, I'm like, I now I know that I was, you know, I I, I can see how I was being annoyed because he said no already. Get the fuck away, right? Um, but man, I admired this dude, right? Like he was, he was like, you know, blue chips. Like I watched all his Kazam and all that shit. I watched Let's all go. his shit, yes. right? And uh, and and I'm Jack like, Fu. I'm like, when yeah. the fuck else am I ever ever going to get a chance to get a picture? And he said no, and I was like, fuck, right? So it's on YouTube. Shaq, this is hacks. You know what I'm saying? Fucking 300,000 views. Uh Oh, Oh, shit. All right, so this was 2013, right? You fast forward four years, Video Game Awards, 2017. Optic is nominated for Esports Team of the Year. Oh, shit. We fucking win. Mm. Guess who gives us the fucking award? Oh, shit. Shaq, motherfucking (laughs) diesel. (laughs) Right? Yeah. So I go up there. I fucking, I'm like, Shaq D's. And I go like this to, to give him a hug. I give him a hug. He grabs my ass, one hand, both cheeks. <laughs> what the fuck? He said, boom, and then he gives me the award. What the fuck? Just a my power boys, move. My, my boys are up there with- Just a power move? Yeah, he's just a, he's just a big dude. No, because I'm like, I'm like, should I hug him? He, he did the joke, right? And I didn't say, he, you know, he didn't fucking grope me, but he was, <laughs> Anyway, the, there, was a, there was a little salt and pepper that was put on top of that joke, or that, that story. Uh-huh. So he gives us that, so, you know, full circle moment. He, he told me no. Man. And then he gave me a fucking award when 
when you fucking And so they got up Hey Shaq Hey you dissed me one time No I would oh, never no. I would never I would never no, I would never But yeah For sure him was insignificant I'm like bro I'm about to do something yeah, right yeah. now Oh yeah Of course it's Shaq bro. Yeah 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 That I'm And I understand that. I was in the middle of lobby If I'm getting a picture He gotta give everybody yeah. a picture uh -huh. I He's gonna make one dude happy And piss everybody off No he's yeah. No, I get it. What a fucking story. I love that. Yeah. Hopefully one day I'm like in line somewhere and I go, uh -huh. oh my God, it's fucking Brett Favre in front of me. One of our guests <sighs> smoked Shaq out during TNT Live yes. and heckled him. <laughs> Did you see that ESPN thing where Shaq was like, oh, someone's smoking out here. And Charles Barkley and everybody in ESPN's talking about someone smoking it up at yeah. the Laker game. Yeah. Our, the next morning, that was our guest. Oh. And he has the video, but he has the behind the scene video. Where he starts talking shit to Shaq because he's a Kobe like fanatic. Yeah. And he's like, Yeah, if we would have won those other two, fucking talking shit. And Ooh. on his video, Shaq turns and stares his ass down. Yeah. And then he hit Marty up. was like, Yo, someone told me Shaq is actually looking for me. <laughs> nah. <laughs> and he was on the show. I would have fucking dip. Bro, that's a big man. Yeah. He, I mean, I'm pretty sure you got to run Shaq, but uh -huh. I'll dip under a nah. truck. That's what he's what's saying. He gonna if he, if yeah. he wanted to put his hands on you, he would put his hands uh -huh. on you. I'm not going to let it happen. Yeah. You, what do you think? I'm not going to roll under shit to get away from Shaq like yeah. a T-Rex? Uh, of course. I'll, I'll be under you, a bench. You just want to move and shit and hope that he's got the same, <laughs> the, the same eye movement weakness as T-Rex. Yeah. Like, yo, here's a goat. Motherfucker, take the goal. <laughs> this dude's under a bench, right? Uh, What's he gonna he do hears, under a bench? Doof, and then he's next to a little puddle, and you see the vibrations. Yeah, exactly. Water's moving and shit. Yo, Kazam. <laughs> All right, I'll just say that. that when the hamburgers fell from the sky, I was like, yo, that shit's <laughs> Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Hamburgers fell from the sky. Remember when he wished for a bunch of junk food or something, and pizzas uh, and hamburgers were uh, flopping? That's all I, like, I remember. I was, like, the movie. I was like, "Where do you live?" I'm hungry. Uh, no, that's the only <laughs> part of that whole movie I remember, man. Yo, I, we we got you some presents, man. Oh yeah, let let's see them. <sighs> Thank you. Oh shit! Yeah, there's, some, there's, there's, there's some jars in there from uh from our season two. Season three, season three, and a hoodie. Oh, thank you. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, it's these jars. Yeah, these are the best jars. Yeah, I love these. They told me that if it's dark in there, they cure better. Yeah, it's you're not supposed to. Uh, don't put your weed in direct sunlight. You leave in your jar in the car, on like on the floorboard is the worst thing you could ever do. Don't do that. Crypt, okay. Crypto chronic. Mm -hmm. What <laughs> crypto chronic? Yeah, man. Anyway, you could uh, if can I tell them where people can get it? Yeah, we're, 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 yeah, for stores. People, go yeah, for it. look, if you're in California, you can get it delivered to your house. PineParkHQ.com. Uh, if you go to delivered to your house, oh, because it's I got you, got you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's nice, right? Look, listen. And you could you could get it delivered to your house. How? PineParkHQ.com. You have your own delivery service, which time? fucking it's drones, yo. <laughs> Are you fucking with me on the drone part? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, look, it's a, it's a, try it out. Give it a shot. Oh, shit. If you, if you, listen, get that chocolatina and play some fucking Elden Ring for nine hours. Oh, <laughs> this is a sick package. Mm. Ooh, I like that hey, one. I'm an artist, man. You know, I wanted to to. I was oh, modified you know, mitts. Fucking f photography, fucking art. Love you know, we wanted package. wanted to do a little bit of everything. Was the fear of God? Shoes? Nah, those are the uh, 750s. Like oh, they look like Yeezy it. 750. Yeah. I've only seen those motherfuckers once because of fucking. <laughs> boom, 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 I saw God. <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, you guys uh, did a very good job on this. Thank you. If you are uh, the cam driver, that's my favorite. Just The cam drivers are yeah, your favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah, just period. It it uh it affects my my physiology differently. I don't know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's good. I, I like to say big words like photosynthesis all the photosynthesis, time. Photosynthesis, man. I learned that one. I think, what was it from? Uh, That's that new plugin on Photoshop, right? No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What was Osmosis Jones? The movie. What's this? Yo, you, you brought a lot of shit. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you know, just... Uh, uh, so this is all at your Pine Park HQ? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we have any more of those, but, the, you know, just uh, just a token of my appreciation of saying thank you, man. Thank you. you. Know, Appreciate when I, it. When I, when I started looking to get into this industry, I do what I always do with every other industry. It's like, who are the movers and shakers in that particular spot, especially on YouTube, because I think the YouTube defines and will continue to define culture, period. Uh, and yours are one of the ones that for, I first came about uh, and I started watching that show. It was good. You. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, from one you. podcaster to another. Let's go. Appreciate it. Fuck yeah. What does this say? Pine Paris? 
Yeah. What does Pine Park oh, mean? Oh, LA Kush Cake. Are they cook by Pine Park? Yeah. Gotcha. Is that an actual place or does it? What Pine does Park? Pine Park mean? Yeah. Uh, it's we used to smoke weed in a park that had a lot of pines. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's uh, you know, I was like, I'm the. I, I consider myself a very creative person. What do you want to name your weed brand? <laughs> uh, it's called fucking Pine Park. It's called Pine it's kind Park. Of oh, I'm gonna think of it. Uh, 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 meth head trees. That's my. That's the name of my park. Right? I used to fucking smoke weed. <laughs> Snowy ass abandoned buildings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has a pine park. You know what I mean? Like that's why. To, yeah. To me, it was more about like the like. You know how home is where the heart is. You know, what I mean? happy yeah. happiness is where your weed is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, pine park one. is that happiness. All right. That's the motto. This is the one for me. Which one's that? Let me see. True Kush breath. Yeah. Oh, because you like OGs. Yeah, that no, that smells really yeah. good. So being so straight edge, kind of for way longer than all of our other guests, basically, do you fuck with like dabs, shrooms? Do you go further into it? So yesterday, because I was hanging out with uh, with Eric Khan and Tim all day, I was I, I did I did dab. So I did my first. Or man, let's let's say I've maybe dabbed fucking ten times in my life. Let's just say okay. That. Mm -hmm. My uh, my first three times were with Skelly at Seven Ten Labs. You got high. Got yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a different kind of high though. It was like a, a, I didn't feel like a fresh. Crisp they have a lot. Of, yes. Uh, yeah. Seven ten. Yeah. Yes. Seven ten has like a. Their flavors are not as heavy. I feel they're a little more like like <sighs> refreshing. Brisk. More they, the, the the they were more th a, they were more ASMR. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? they were more <laughs> as Mister. You know? yeah. As Mister. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so so I, I was I was uh, I was dabbing yesterday. Hash rosin, you know what I mean. Assuming. Yeah, yeah, water. Uh -huh. Hash water. Yeah, yeah hash exactly. water. Yeah. It's and, funny uh, to me when little kids talk about dabbing and shit. Like, have no idea where the shit oh, came from. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So this is a lot of weed. Yeah, Thank man. You so much. Give it a shot. Appreciate you know, it. it's uh, Fuck it's, yeah, we're it's, gonna give it a shot. <laughs> it's weed. You know what I'm saying? Like not not uh -huh. for for me nowadays. Like obviously, you can tell you know it's high quality. You, you can tell high quality weed, and you can tell like artisan weed. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah. the artisan weed. Right? I like how you're not being like a fucking connoisseur about it. You're like, check yeah. it out. You're gonna fucking like it. Yeah, hey, don't you know what my, my my I don't complicate things. Yeah, mm -hmm. not, I'm not gonna try to sound smart. Yeah, that's how I am with it too. Like, does the shit scare me or not? Is yeah, it fucking does the shit death scare or no? me? <laughs> yeah, whether or not. Yeah, so so yeah, it's uh it's good. I get high. Let's go. I get high all the time. Uh huh. That was a Styles P quote, right? Thank you, Marty. Of course, Marty. He's cut from that. Now, where do you stand with music? Are you into like nineties hip hop shit? Yeah, stri okay. strictly. Right. Yeah, look, I, I'm, a, I'm a graffiti writer. Yeah, what? Same. Yeah, he d will not change the station, bro. He's listening to the same like twelve <laughs> CDs back to back to back for yeah, his life. Ooh. I'm heavy on the like as far as New York shit goes. J to Kiss, Jay Z, Nas, all those. I'm yeah. real big into Nipsey. I'm big into you know. Yeah. That, that generation of music too but Wu-Tang Clan for me has always yeah. been like everything right, for as far as music goes but like I got super like underground my favorite artist Aesop Rock not to be confused with Aesop oh no Aesop Rock you're yeah. talking about like with fucking <laughs> Slug and the yeah. Living Legends yeah, and shit. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking yeah. about when Aesop Rocky came out I went hey <laughs> I like Aesop Rocky yeah. a lot I went hey you know Aesop Aesop mm. Rock yeah is around right no he didn't he I didn't. I don't know. He had to have known, bro. You think that's a big fucking? And they had their own ASAP group. Of course, he's not gonna be like, I'm not changing. My when he goes to Google name. himself, this fool is gonna start popping up first, right? No, it's spelled it's spelled different, but it's so A E S O P. It's so oh, okay. it's so dead on. Jada Kiss, Jada Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dead similar, but you're like, yeah, oh, it yeah. means two different things. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh -huh. But yeah. it's, when I heard it the first time, ASAP Rock's your favorite. Yeah. Uh, what album did he put out? He put out a. I, I bought it. It was like uh, he had like different artists on it. It was a bunch of instrumentals he fucking made, and then uh, I have it on CD. What does it look like? It's green with a white like tag writing on it. I could be misremembering this shit, but I have a pretty extensive, really good memory. I don't know because I, I I don't even I stopped literally at one. My my brain said, "This is what you like." And that's Shit. it. I did open. I did expand my my horizons a little bit, uh, like with Mac Miller through Nate Shot, who was like, if I'm if you're hanging out with people, mm -hmm. like their music is gonna infiltrate yours the same that hope you would hope yours did. Mine didn't. But anyway, uh, he just you know he likes that underwater rap shit. You know what I mean? That's not my kind of thing. Uh -huh. The underwater rap shit. You talking about auto tune? 
Yeah, you know, <laughs> underwater rap shit. Yeah, I you thought know, that I'm, was a real genre. Of nah, new rap. it's all, it's all, it's all. You know, it's it's hip hop, hip hop to me. You I know what I mean? I love like, that. That was the best fucking. So like Wu Tang Forever, for Thirty Six Chambers. Ever. That's all your your shit. That's my shit. Yeah. I just met Ray, Raekwon for the first time ever. Cool. Was, had dinner with him. No oh, shit. that's a good one. Yeah. With the oh, chef? you fucking kidding me? With the chef, <laughs> bro. It was. It was. It was fucking. I, I get there, right? And I, and I went with uh, one of my one of my closest friends. This, this dude named Omens. Don't fucking embarrass me in front of the chef. You know that's what I say. That's his nickname. And uh, and you know I'm sitting and playing it cool, right? We were having a business meeting, talking about business things, and. Um, we start talking and then he's like, well, you know, Hector has been, you know, listening to your music for a long time. And he's you know, cool. I play, I'm underplayed it to do that. Introduce us. And I'm like, listen, man, I'm a full disclaimer right now. I'm a fucking massive fan of yours. And he's like, oh, thank you, man. Respect. I'm like, I don't think you get it. There's a fucking purple tape in my coat pocket right now that I'm hoping that you're going <laughs> to sign at one point tonight. And he's like, uh -huh. pull it out right now. And I was like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then he, oh, he signed shit. it and shit. But yeah, it was like it was it was like meeting Batman. Yeah, it's one of those moments, man. It was meeting Batman. I was like, Get the fuck out of here. I could not believe it. I just sat in the, sat there in disbelief. To this day, to this very day, I'm having a really good year. I'm not even gonna talk about it because that's how good it's going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I, I got Optic back. Uh, won a go. championship recently. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? We're in it, we're, we're 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 as popular as ever. The, the relationship with the Green Wall is good. And I met Raekwon. Good. Get fuck out here. Fuck out here. Perfect timing for that it. shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, that's what I was hoping my Brett Favre interaction was going to be. Yeah, like, yo, you know what, kid? You look like you have an arm. Maybe you should play back a little <laughs> Like, oh, fuck! You know, like, I was just hoping for that, just for that fucking. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, Instead, he just, just hit you with the fucking head nod and didn't even give me that, bro. He didn't. Wait, so what? What do you do? He just. I'm hoping he was on pills that day. Mm. That's what I hope. Nice breath. You want a nice breath. I want. An, I'm Quite hoping. No, breath. I hope no. that was the excuse. He's I hope hoping he, was on he had a pulled out breath. Oh, and that's why he dissed me so hard. Yeah. But I waited outside the Frisco game for him, and they won. Mm -hmm. So I was like, it's not that they lost. Bubba Franks took a picture. Donald Driver took a picture of me. I was so hyped, bro. He I was, was in the losing. tunnel. I was waiting outside for like two and a half, three hours in the rain of San Francisco. So it was not like it wasn't cold. Yeah, it was freezing. I had my cheese head on. I had Brett oh, Favre jersey on. Dang. And these In two, enemy territory. Bro, yeah. And my grandpa's a Niner fan. And he brought me, he goes, I'm not sitting in the rain for Brett Favre. And so I'll be at the truck. I like Brett Favre and I lived in Chicago. I'm in fucking California. My, everybody's a Niner or Raider fan. You know what it's like yeah, wearing like a Packers Raiders jersey? Know, yeah, it's not what it's oh! like. It is, it's not what it's like with the relationship between the oh, fucking the Jesus Bears. and the fucking Bears. That's well, true. Niners Packers <laughs> is not as strong as Yeah, the exactly. So, yeah, I was a Brett Favre <laughs> fan. And I'm like, uh -huh. you know, uh, I'm like, I. And you don't speak English? <laughs> Get this fucking kid. Yeah, for real. That's what happened. No. Oh. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude. Kidding. I was like, I don't like him no more. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, that's what happened. Oh, anyway, these two old ladies had signs, waited for two and a half, three hours in the rain. I mean, rain. Yeah. And they had a song they were chanting. They made up about Brett Favre. I was like, yo, you guys really made a whole song. And he walked by. We're like, oh, fuck. And he had the bowl cut, Brett Favre. Like and the little shitty haircut. The two ladies are like, break, break, Brett, let me suck your dick. No, they're old as fuck. And they so had like they, a, what? They don't. No, like, they had a really nice they, song. They, they, they are going to be very passionate about <laughs> yes, it. They had a really nice song. I'm like, yo, these two old ladies are so cool. And he's straight up, he's eight feet from us. From the tunnel to the bus, there's 50 yards. And this motherfucker does this the whole time and will he not. He had his headphones on. No, there's no headphones. There wasn't earbuds. I'm staring at him like, yo, Brett Favre. Oh my fucking god! I'm like, ah, oh, bro, fuck. And he just, yep, that's bro. exactly crickets. <laughs> that's what I got from him. And he went, and the old ladies went, and they looked at me. I looked at them, and I fucking arrested development. Sad walked <laughs> all the way back to my grandpa's car and had to tell him what happened. And he was went, he see, should have been a Niner fan. No, he, when he told me, should have been a Niner fan. Uh, but look at, but me. look at the happiness your sadness just brought us. Uh -huh. like he's yeah. cracking up, <laughs> cracking up. It's all worth it. <laughs> it's all it worth was, it. It was yeah. worth it because one day Brett Favre, mm -hmm. I'm going to tap in this you chair. on this one. Or yeah. that one day he's going to be day. sitting here smoking weed because he launched his own brand. No, he didn't. No, I'm saying. I mean, oh, they do. He did. Like, you know, everyone's like doing. But uh, even if it's trash, I still want to smoke. Yeah, Brett Favre. Like one day, if you're Brett, what would you call it? Your your brand. If I'm Brett Favre, Wonder what Brett. do I? It's just, oh, <laughs> they, they, that would have been perfect. Fuck, that's already taken. What do we call it? <sighs> Wonder Brett. <sighs> Brett Favre. 
I don't know. I'll get. I, I mean, that's hard. Yeah. So you, now you Collect get watch heavy part. duty pain pillow. Pine Park. <laughs> 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 now you see, motherfuckers, how hard it is. Uh, Pine Park. Uh, spray painted walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's garage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. That was fucking incredible. Brett Favre, you off the hook. I don't know what to call your fucking weed company, mm-hmm. but you're making Levi commercials uh, and shit. So, um, Wrangler. Oh, Wrangler. I'll oh, fuck it then. Never mind. Shane, call yourself a fan. Real fan. <laughs> call yourself a fan. <laughs> Real fan, Brett. No. no. Ass looks great in those. <laughs> Them chaps. Hey, man. One day. One day. We'll see. Well, we do. Uh, I have, we, have, we have a guest coming on next week. That I'm, I'm, I was a big football guy, but we have a. Our first NFL player Legend. coming next week, and I'm fucking Who's hyped. It? Ricky motherfucking Good? Williams. Oh, we could say it. Okay, it's Ricky, Rick, Rick, Ricky Williams. Williams. It's coming in a couple days. Damn. I'm excited, man. I yeah. have his Ricky cards. Is it is it Ricky Williams from Ballers or the real Ricky Williams? Or what's up from the Ballers? ballers. Who's, who's Ricky in, in Ballers? Movie? You guys watch Ballers? I only watched like the first like five oh, episodes. Go watch all of it. Yeah, it's so fucking. No, no, good. I got to where he was like losing his license. Yeah, or same. We, I, I went past that. That's where I stopped. <laughs> I think that was season one. I think that was season one. Yeah. So we had we had a uh, uh, we had Vernon from Ballers on on, on the Pine Power podcast. Oh shit! It was super super cool. Yeah. But there's a there's a the main dude Denzel Washington's son in real life. Yeah. His name is Ricky, something so in the show. He's yeah, I think he's Ricky, it that. might be Ricky Williams. I don't know, but fucking yeah, Ricky Williams in real life. Yeah. Ricky Williams in real life was way kid, fucking better. As a fucking kid. I remember Ricky Williams. I'm like, damn man. And now he's gonna be. Here. I can't wait. Like, like you. I may or may not have your rookie. Yo, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a PS ten. It's been oh, it, I have it in my cases. Yeah. I was a, a big collector as a kid. Were you? Oh yeah, I got some crazy. Have you flipped shit. anything? No, but I, I'm sitting on a Tom Brady rookie mint condition. I found the other day and I didn't know. Fine, I'll give that. you five grand for it. Oh, no. I looked it up. <laughs> right now, deal. I need more. <laughs> I, need, I need a I need a slight nice Honda for it. For brand new though, brand new Honda. Not these rig flippers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Pine Park, you can get it at uh, pineparkhq.com. Pine Park All right. Yeah. And it's not in stores and any, anywhere else? Yeah, it's a source across across uh, LA. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's yeah. just in case people. You, you can go to Calma, right? Calma and what else? Coastal. Coastal is uh, the one where we had the uh, the meetups. Nice. Yeah. yeah try the cam drivers. Cam, try the cam drivers. My favorite. I don't know why, but it is. It does something to my, my, my breath. Well, I yeah, and season three is available. You can get the, your apple fritter. That. Season three is available now. Yeah, season three is available right now. Uh, there's some season two, season one. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of season one left, but if you can find a cam driver, you should fucking try it. Or the cam reserve, but cam driver is, is mine. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a fritter, apple fritter, apple, uh, apple fritter. We have uh, Ellie Kush cake. Uh, we have a uh, uh, fuck. I've, I've been smoking weed. Uh, apple fritter, uh, Ellie Kush cake. Uh, Crypto Chronic, which is oh the one you just gave me, yeah, 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 delicious. Because the Crimson Chronic, when I opened it, I'm like, it looks like fritter. It's mm-hmm. the first thing I thought, but it's not the fritter. Mm-mm. Okay, peanut butter breath. Uh, wow, we heard that. we yeah. had to label it peanut butter hex because we have two different peanut butter breaths. I know there's a people don't like that, and I get it. I my bad, but at the same time, we like it's peanut butter breath underneath it is hex because we grew that at our facility while the other one was grown at uh, at Wave Rider. Which At least you're being transparent as fuck about it. Oh yeah, you no. Like, again, I, I'm 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 trying to put the highlight on the on the on the farmers because you know by the time that it leaves, like you never know who the artist is, and you should know who you know it, something this meaningful, right? Because it's not just a, it's not just a piece of lettuce. It's not a tomato that you you know it's 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 your morning tea of mm-hmm. sorts, right? There's there's a certain level of relationship there that you want to know you know who the artist is. You want to know what how they feel about marijuana and what they see it as. Mm-hmm. And when it's a passion project, it becomes a little bit more than anything. So uh, Jason is, uh, is the one that, that manages and operates ours, and he does a killer job, I think. I love that. I never yeah. really thought about it like that. Yeah. I mean, all credit should go to, to the you know to the farmers. It's their final touch on it. Like, yeah. I would never want somebody else to really edit the podcast because yeah. it's got my touch on it. It's they're the chef, man. They're, they're preparing something for you that's going to take – that's going to taste different – one month to the next, and it's going to be good for a long time if it's if it's that good. Yeah, makes sense. No, I, I like it. Or maybe I just made all that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just the recurring constantly. themes. Like, yeah, yeah. by the way, my name's not even Hector. <laughs> you know what? The team optic that I was talking about doesn't exist. Yeah, this is one big freestyle guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're all high. <laughs> Yo, the guy that we booking agent. 
It's me. Yeah. <laughs> I did this. <laughs> you know those fucking 90 people that were like spamming? You can't hack so I got it. That was fucking me. <laughs> gotcha. Get fucking got. <laughs> Yo, that'd be fucking <laughs> smart. I have 90 max just open. Just, that's how I get on podcasts. <laughs> That'd be fucking incredible. Oh my God. Don't stop. You think people like that exist? Oh my God. You just opened up my. Oh we gotta man, fucking hire a guy. Do that? That? Yeah. Do you guys didn't do notice this? how I capitalized the E on, on every all one of them? them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my signature. Like, you know, remember the Zodiac yeah, killer? That's you. Crow. That's my yeah. signature. Uh -huh. I've gotten to award show Shaq. I'm, I'm, the, Shaq I'm, I'm the farmer's almanac killer. Mm, the wet bandits of this shit. The wet uh, bandits. <laughs> Farmer's almanac killer. What's happening? What you know what's happening. happening. It's that Pine Park. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, weed. it's that time of the podcast. Oh when I come God. out here, bro, to film the podcasts. Now, you, mind you, okay, I don't smoke weed reg on the regular. Because you know, I can't. Yeah. All right? So if I'm at a party or if I'm somewhere and someone has it, boom, awesome. I'm fucking, thank God. You were sent by God. Anyway, when I come out here to record these fucking things... I do four podcasts in a row. Mm. So I'll be smoking for four hours straight, sometimes like fresh, like just fucking nothing. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm, I'm my, my tolerance is not what it should, what it should be. be. Yeah. The fourth yeah. one is just a fucking blur. Because yeah. I trained a lot yesterday with fucking Eric and Tim. They, would, they did not, we did not stop smoking the whole time. I'm like, God damn. Mm -hmm. So... I believe it. My it's tolerance, is, California man. Yeah. When you get out here, it's like, oh yeah, I drink water. Yeah, like I smoke weed. Yeah, like yeah, every like fucking coffee, couple basically. minutes, spoiled. <laughs> spoiled. It is uh, truly like that's why I don't really like to travel too much. But where, what state? Oh, I go to jail over there. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Yeah, I don't really have. I don't see a point until it's a business thing. No, that's just for me because I cause Texas. Like you, like oh, I can't smoke it. <gasps> I'd have to move. Yeah, give me. A, can I? Can I pay for a license? Oh, Why not? For real? Can I pay for like, how much is the license? I don't get, I'll pay the license. New Mexico, mm -hmm. I think, just got recreational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. homie, my homie, literally bought a place there just to go there because he's from Texas. Like, dude, I don't get in trouble here. Yeah, it's only fucking three well, hours I, away. I have to go to Oklahoma City to or Oklahoma. How yeah. far is that from? It's me? like an hour. Man, yeah. my geography skills are not fucking <laughs> doing me justice right now. I thought I was pretty Sean good. With <laughs> an hour. <laughs> Fuck. Or maybe I just made that shit up. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, 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 like an, it's, it's definitely an hour. It's like an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> no, it's definitely an hour. I know for sure. I'll fucking fire this. <laughs> 100%. Um, so do me a favor. Yeah. Please tell us where everybody can find you at. Yeah, you know, just uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Hex, H3CZ, uh, with the three E backwards, and at Pine Park on, on Twitter also. What about Instagrams? Instagrams, same thing. H-E-C-Z uh, -E on that one. We, we, got, we were able to pay for that one. The other one... Somebody had it. Some already. fucking dude has it, and the thing is, it's like I was. I'm, I'm, if 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 somebody doesn't use an account for mm -hmm. two years and they're squatting on it, you can make a petition. Four years for me. It, and has Twitter. someone used it? For on Twitter, hasn't posted since like two thousand. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that he's not logging in to see. He's just not oh. a poster. If he's using his account, you it's not considered squatting, because you can open an account yeah. and not participate uh, as you posting, but you can participate as you reading. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what that's what uh, that's how it goes. Yeah. So I was able to get those. So you at Hex, at Pine Park, yeah, of course. Oh, fuck, of course, I didn't even know hey, about dude, this. You, you gotta start asking. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, the thing is, it's different in the Wii world. Everybody's like, I don't know, motherfucker. We can, can you pay somebody? So I don't. It's the, different. The, the, the the biggest nicest rule break breakers in the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you should ask. You know what I mean? Just give it a shot. It's it's a new it's luckily, like because of the sacrifice that everybody has done up until this point. Like it's at a different point now where you can you can start the discussion. We're just like don't delete us. Don't don't that's how we us. that's how don't. we do. We don't ask. It's like yo, please just let us stay mm -hmm. because we get played so much. Like yo, what are we doing wrong? Yeah, so you don't want to make any noise. Yes, we don't. That's why I don't petition yeah. to get my channel. No, but this. just imagine if you're able if you have a contact at YouTube and that that understands that you know what you're doing yeah. and they see it, they're gonna be willing to be like, well, you're not really fucking breaking anything here. Yeah, no, this we wanted a space to be completely mainstream with us yeah. to like how Rogan was when he first yeah. started for everybody. Yeah, of course. The weed weed was the you know, heavy duty in Rogan early YouTube days. It yeah. wasn't a fucking problem. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also Joe Rogan. It's different yeah. when you're just a fucking guy that literally talks about selling packs his whole life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause I think I feel like is it because I'm explicit? Is it because of this? But you're saying no, bro, it's Google, they're not looking yeah. at you like that. 
Yeah, it also might have to do with your demographic. You know, maybe if if they deem it's like it's reaching a lot of mega young people. That's with anything. Any person can type anything, yeah. though. Yeah, I know. You know, so yeah. it's not like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if you ask and be like, "Yo, what really happened?" or "What was the real reason?" They'll, I'm, I'm sure they can work around it. Yeah, I'll, I'll connect you to one of my yeah. boys. And that's the whole point. They're in the gaming side, but I'm sure that they can connect you with the right people. Because I, I, they did the same thing to uh, to my fishing buddies who are also hunters. Like they would get demonetized because they were they were wild and out showing fucking skinning fucking. You know, there's a lot of blood in that shit. Some people don't want to see that. You know, if, if you're an advertiser, let's call it, I don't know, Coca-Cola. Maybe you don't want your shit next to, uh -huh. you know, that sort of thing. So, again, it's not the platform as much as it is the people that are paying to be put in front of people. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes it's just awareness. Right. So for us, like there, there might be a brand that you don't use, but you see us like, oh, I could use that. And then you're just raising awareness for that. Yeah. Right. They, they, they look for that advertisement too but then we get demonetized for that and I put them in contact with my people and then they were able to finally sort of align good enough to where everybody's following the rules and they're on the same page let's go yeah <laughs> oh fucking need man just tell me what to do tell me what not to do but and did you actually ask, you haven't really actually asked them though no I'm so fucking afraid to even rebuttal yeah. of uh, yeah. anything <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man, we're we're doing this. Yeah, the, listen, they're oh, Californians. Shit. The people working there are Californians. That's what I don't get. That's what I'm saying. So they like the, the conversation is not going to go. But with know. me, it's a little different. Like we said earlier, I've been deleted so many times on every platform yeah. except for Twitter. Every platform, Vimeo or Vi Vi Venmo. Vimeo, Venmo. Oh, Vimeo, Vimeo, yeah, they Vimeo. Kicked, they kicked, deleted me. Yeah. It's like yo, there's rappers and. Shit. They did you a favor? What the fuck you doing on Vimeo, man? They did you a favor? No, we had no, we had it to back up for our site. Like, oh, oh is this a link? Yeah. They go, no, All the too explicit. Yolo, the dopest Yolo site has unique mm -hmm. copies of every mm -hmm. video. Now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now we had to do our own. Like, oh, well, we thought it was okay. Yeah, and like no, fuck you. So Damn. you know what I mean? Snapchat deleted me. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, but we're much more yeah. legitimate now. Weed isn't so big and scary, and this is just a crossover show. Yeah, this show's different. We like that was the most weed you probably ever seen on the show, right there. Oh, like, yeah, we that's don't. That's actually the only time I think, except for maybe like OG, we we really barely ever even busted out like that at all. Yeah, just because we're like YouTube, they don't like that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see where we're at. But I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you uh, oh, yeah. for that because that's a big help. Sure. Um, so everything you said, hex and then Pine Park, Pine Park HQ. That's where you yeah. can find everything. Yeah, yeah. Marty, you got anything else? Yeah, and if you like Call of Duty, only. Support optic. That was well, a stern warning. That's it. But how do you how do you support a team? Uh, who's your favorite uh, basketball team? I don't really watch basketball. Okay, football. Packers. Okay, there you go. How do you support the Packers? You mean watching them? Yeah. How do you support how do you them? Watch on YouTube, Twitch, anything that's live. Oh God! Yeah, you yeah. Can, can you watch the tournaments? Can oh yeah, we just had a tournament. Yeah, you can. The fans can watch it happen. Yeah. So uh, I'll give you an example. When we won our championship. Uh, Five weekends ago, for a couple of last month, when we were our uh, when we won our championship, we won it in our stadium, in front of uh, I believe like nineteen hundred people there in a, live in attendance. You can if you go to my Insta, you can see a, a picture of, of me in the fame. I saw that picture. Yeah. That was the game. That was yeah. That's where we won, and there was a hundred and like eighty thousand people watching online. Oh, on whoa, YouTube, whoa. if it was, that should have been on Twitch, it would have been way more. Yo, I didn't know it was like that. You could watch this. That's that me. many people were live watching you guys play fucking games and win. Yeah, insane. Yo, I didn't know it was like this. Look, this how, many like look how many people that is. That feels like a movie. It and and, like and a guess movie. what? We needed a big. We could if we if we if we had a bigger space, we would have filled that shit out too. At Wintrust Arena in Chicago, we sold thirty five hundred tickets. And we were, and, and this was within the first like within the first week of announcing that shit. It was we didn't even let it develop to the time it got canceled because of COVID. Oh. But if we let it go, like we would have sold way more than that. No shit, people go. I see why it's such a big industry now because now you're like, oh, that's my Brett Favre. He's on this team. Yeah. Wow. But way so more guys, handsome. <laughs> you guys sell jerseys and shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So we sell. We sell out of jerseys. Excuse me. <laughs> Sell out of jerseys. In what? instantly. Can, yeah, can you can you I gotta see what this jersey looks like. A gaming jersey. Right there. That? Right there? Yeah. Not not the Jesus one to the Christ. left of that. Yeah, Google. Speaking of which, got this Yeah, right there. Watch <laughs> out. It's like it says coming oh, soon. Wow. 
<laughs> Yo, no way. You guys are really. Oh, I bet you people love that that's shit. Sick. And that's the Optic Texas one. The Optic one also also sells. Because it's Optic Gaming and then our team and the CDO is Optic Texas. Call of Duty League. Oh, it straight up says that shit. Oh, yeah. Wow, man. You guys really opened my eyes up. I didn't, like I said, until like a month and a half ago, I had no idea. Yeah. And then I didn't know you could watch it. That would be fun as fuck oh, you can, to you, watch. Yeah, bro. You show up, bro. Like people are like fucking yelling like, oh, loud as fuck. Bro, you hear it, it shakes. The fucking, everything shakes around you. It's that loud. That's amazing. That's insane. That sounds fun as fuck, actually. Yeah, it, it, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's insanity. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a video off off uh, once we get off, but it's fucking crazy. That's sick. Okay, so um, so how can I follow YouTube? It's just Optic Gaming YouTube. Yeah, Optic Gaming minus Hex, uh, and also Pine Park. Obviously, that's where on we YouTube. do that. Yeah, so the content that we're creating uh, in the cannabis industry is on Pine Park, and then sometimes I promote like that through my channel, but I also have to be precautious of yeah, you know you, obviously right. You have to. Be. So until everything gets figured out, and it you know patience is key then you know we'll continue to do that that way but that's my channel almost nice. almost at a million Fuck and I, yeah. if I, i've been i've been doing this for like fucking 10 years and my inconsistency has oh. led me to this place right here I, I like fuck man people hit a million super super easy yeah you, you have to be the same it's gotta be a tv yeah. show like oh i know what day and what time it's yeah be. i've i've logged every single day for two years uh minus give it say 10 days in those two year periods yeah, when when you become a part of somebody's routine, if they're having breakfast with me every single day, and I don't show up one of the days, as you know, because you vlog, like oh, people are like, "Yeah, what the fuck's mm. this shit at?" I always compared to what if the Simpsons didn't come on after football mm -hmm. on Sunday? Ooh, you'd yeah. be fucking heated. Yeah, yeah, they're they're they're, they're invested. You know yes. what I mean? So it's good. It's a good thing to have. All right, so Optic Gaming on YouTube, Hex on YouTube. Yeah, I think we covered all the places to find them on. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Thank only you, yeah. okay only optic. support optic gaming <laughs> spell it right motherfuckers thank you so much for being here bro man. thank you for the Appreciate invite it. man it's good thank you i'm really ex i'm really happy to Hell yeah, yeah. I, I, i'm like you know you see me in a person you're like uh or before you meet I'm like i hope i hope they're cool i hope they're yeah. nice and i hope they're at least open-minded mm -hmm. i'm glad man you're like the, you. the texas counterpart to yeah, the seriously. show because yeah. what you're saying is what we preach a lot the I, overall I message that. of we have the opportunity to be entrepreneurs more than anybody before yep that's you know that's what, what I mean? we period. talk about non-stop it's you have the opportunity because a lot of people are stuck but they just got to find it and turn, like you said it'll it'll happen turn your hobbies into jobbies okay or work for the fucking man and be miserable it's your fucking choice or if you like it it's okay you're either going to be a rule maker or a rule breaker. Okay? Don't follow it. Don't follow it. Break mm. it. Mic and drop. And we'll end it at that. I need a mic drop sound effect for moments like that. Just, it, just do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, brother. All right, Appreciate guys. It. This has been another episode of the Dope As Usual Podcast. I'm fucking high. This has been another episode. <laughs> Have a dope ass day. Damn, I'm fairly high. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. Do you hit bongs? <laughs>